and welcome back for another oh. episode of Out of Alignment. This is episode uh, 14? I forgot. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, 14. I'm number. That's, that's the right number. Um, oh, what's up? Last we left off, things were things were heating up. Uh, the party had decided to take the offer uh, from Rizzle and had a Rizero. I think there's an R there. Rizero. Rizero. Um, and, had, uh, and had decided to go after Shun's gang uh, and get Shun's head and uh, another person of the Xanathar who, have they, who they have not ran into yet. Um, they killed the bugbears on the way in, which alerted the uh, rest of the gang because of some brain slugs, basically. Uh, who who could sense that people had died nearby, and uh, so they came into a full fight, and they made the fight bigger because an ace up the sleeve, a bunch of dwarves got summoned from a horn. So that was kind of dope. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yes, it was. Um, they then began. It shun as Shun ran. They chased him around the corner completely annihilating the rest of the gang in the process and went around the corner to see Shun smack dab floating in the middle of a very very large ooze um, I have actually added some more oozes here for emphasis this is technically one ooze uh, um, but I need it to take up the same space that it should actually take up and I can't scale up minis that large in Tailspire <laughs> So, yeah. Um, and that is where we're picking up with combat against this ooze. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to what? get a view in there. Big hacking concern, the rendo. Um, <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start with some initiative rolls. Oh. You know, I wanted to be friends with Spider Bro. Really? Is that really the best decision we could make? Oh, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> bad decisions is my career path. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a big news. In game or? <laughs> <laughs> Both. No comment. <laughs> All right. Jokes um, on you. I'm dumb. Shit. We said we weren't going to bring life into this. Question, uh, Mark. Yes. Uh, does your flame spirit act right after you, or does it get its own initiative? It uh, it acts directly after me. Okay. So twenty-five to twenty. Uh, twenty. Okay. Uh, twenty to fifteen. Fifteen to ten. Thirteen. Rock also got 13. You, you want to go first? I have the lower decks, I'm sure. Um, I mean, as a note, I believe all of your berserkers go after you. Okay. Yeah, you go first then, because, uh, yeah, berserkers. All right, let me get all of those ducks in a row. All six of them. Yeah. I'm going to put these guys inside of actual squares. And then, Kalana, what did you get? Nine. All right. Trying my best. We're starting off with truth. Ah. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, dash. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. There you go. Oh, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> so it's okay. Tashi's small. Yeah, Just so don't step on her. You'll be fine. Kalana was the only one who knew about the ooze. So far. I mean, I did go, oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're trying to catch up with uh, Shin, yeah, so. Shun. Shun. And at this point, it's very Shun. obvious as you turn the corner and see his corpse. Well, what appears to be a corpse now, uh, floating along with his three cronies in the middle of the room that there is definitely a very, very large gelatinous cube in there. Mm. And you can still see that plain regular skull floating in there, too. Who shapes gelatinous cubes? Like, are they born like that? <laughs> They're born square. Oh. Or someone just go like, 
Do they make? I want you in my dungeon, but first I must shave you. <laughs> Are they cast? I mean, maybe when they're created, however that is, they're inside of a small room what? and they take the shape uh, of it. Neil might want to change your background. What? Oh. <laughs> um, rock. <laughs> is that? What's wrong with his background? It's technically copyrighted. What is this? Okay. Is, <laughs> is that that show I've never watched? Like the old kids show? I don't even know. No. All right. It's better. No. It, no. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. It's not like you put the I'm casting sorry, couch on. behind him. Oh, oh my god. No, 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 that one. Oh yeah. There, there we go. Okay, there, we're good. There we're good. Go. Oh. Well, I'd have ne- I have never in my life had more fun getting copyright striked. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> going down, it's been going an down. absolute joy right. and goodbye forever. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, so two, three. Yeah, you you have no. You actually have flight because you're winged boots. That's right. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Is it pretty obvious this is a slime, or is it still just like a floating dude? Oh no, it's like. Because of the floating dude, it is you. It can immediately discern the giant gelatinous cube that is taking up most of the room. It is reaching you know, clear to the ceiling. I feel. Hmm, let me let me check the intelligence on these berserkers. Because <laughs> <laughs> they might just like charge it. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> won't they just do what you tell them? Uh, their intelligence is. A nine. So, yeah. <laughs> I'd say they're not stupid, but they might also be blood crazed. So, uh, the question is, what's their wisdom? Eleven. Us. Oh, okay. okay. Fine. They're not complete idiots. They're just, you know, hungry. <laughs> Wait, hungry? Um. All right. You know what? Odds and evens. Odds they run right in. Evens they wait. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ha, yay. Your eye is like. Mm-hmm. Ah, hey. Whoa, 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 hey. Hey. Whoa. Five, hey. Six. Hey. Whoa. Two. Three, five, six. <laughs> For a PBJ. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. I thought that was hungry for a PB and right bracket. <laughs> uh, would, like, they, would they use their action to uh, rush? Right. Or to... Don't make me kill my own men. The clan of men. Aren't they already <laughs> they dead? Back. They come back. I thought this was some you know, spirits weak. from Valhalla bullshit. <laughs> they are, but if they rushed in, they wouldn't be able to swing. They'd be able to stop the thing from getting to me. <laughs> The doorway will stop that. You are I'm, the farthest away. Shut the fuck up. I am absolutely not confident that uh, you don't he's going to be stopped by a door. I think Brock probably would have Actually. shot fire at it, but I did kind of already do his stuff, so I'll wait till next turn for that. Interesting that you're not I... able to move figures. That's a new bug. Because uh, we're in turn-based mode, and you're, you're moving figures that weren't your turn. So, oh. Yeah. oh. But okay. they were under his control. <laughs> they are. Ragnar. Actually, that's a good question. I could move Tashi. Yeah. On my turn. Well, here, here's the question. It is Ragnar's turn. Can anyone else move? No. 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 Okay. No. So it's just the ones that you. Control. I cannot move Stay anyone who's not under bug. control. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I kind of like that because. Yeah, but. What if you had a beast companion that goes on your initiative? Like, That's true. flip back and forth between initiatives so that you can be like, oh, my beast moves here, and then I move here. Fair. Anyway, Ragnar is, as always, just looking for an excuse to cast Fireball at someone. And just gonna just excuse gonna me, move pardon. right here. Okay, gonna move yeah. right here. And that is not space. All right, well, that was fun, and now I'm going to run away. <laughs> um, really, with my movement, I think all I could do here and be like, Tashi, what's going on? Wow. Oh. Oh, no. 
<laughs> oh, let's speak some let's crackly leave. cinders. Is Tashi going to do anything? Uh... Oh, crap. I forgot that I can... So, can I assume that I peeked around the corner enough to see what was going on? Uh, no. Not unless oh, you know what? Never mind. Moment. Never mind. I, uh... I forgot I dashed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tashi is gonna hiss menacingly. Okay. Kalana. Yeah, no, we need that guy's head, so we're doing this. Um... That's not gonna. I... Does does <laughs> does the cube count as having limbs? No. Is he a limb in and of itself? It is. It is a limb. It is. It is one giant limb. Can can tether? No, you cannot. You uh nope. Tether a corner. There's it, corners it is... to the cube, but they're touching the ceiling and shit. But I don't know if it'll. It would sink in, but it's radiant energy. It's not necessarily like a thing. It's not like rope. Is that? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. All right. Uh, well, arrows worked last time, so <laughs> I'll do hail of thorns on it. So I guess it'll hit everything. I mean, there's only one. <laughs> Does he take? Uh, that's true. Yeah, so it won't add anything, will it? Yeah. All right. All right. I'm just gonna shoot it. That's, yeah, that's what I do. This is what I'm paid for. Yeah, the, the extra oozes are just for size. Ambiance. Um, <laughs> All right. One. Oh. <laughs> Ten. Uh, I mean, it's a natural one. Oh, oh. that's right. Yeah. Yeah. But he bum, hasn't bum, told bum, you. It's a, smaller bum, one. It's a nat one. <laughs> wow. Twelve. Twelve. Twelve is enough. <laughs> oh. oh, ten piercing. All right. And my final arrow, since it's a new combat. Oh, yay! I should. Not even gonna math that one. <laughs> that one'll that one'll hit. And twenty piercing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh then I'm gonna get not in the front. Alright boys, you got this. Send the dwarves in. <laughs> Alright. Uh cube time. I don't like cube time. Can we? Can we? <laughs> can, can, can we skip cube time? <laughs> no. Is cube time optional. Uh, what's it? Unfortunately. Oh. Okay. Let's see. That's one, two, three. Darn catty corners. You know. It's funny that I can't see the cube, even though I'm right here. Really? There's no one in front of me, but my line of sight's still blocked, probably because I'm taller than the wall. I think as you're flying, maybe it's the door. Yeah, I don't know. If you stop flying, does it work? Can you see it now? Because it's moved. Nope. Ah, let me toggle your flying. How about now? No. Now I can, but I double-click myself. Huh. Weird. Hmm. Alright. I also can't see the cube. Well, I can see it. Makes sense for you. Yeah, you should, Tosh, you should be able to see it. Not anymore. Nope. Yeah, not oh. anymore. Oh no. Um, it's three. behind you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, I can't see. Well, I can actually. Very edge of it. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to go in there, so... <laughs> Eldridge Blast. Does anybody want to go in there? Do you have to get... Cl 
Yeah. What's the range on Eldritch Blast? Very low. 120. Oh, yeah. nice. Fucking like a mile. Ella. Into it, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> First bolt. 21. That's a hit. Yeah. Wow. Hey, yo. Oh. Uh, 12. All right. Force damage. And second bolt. It's going to be a 21. That is also a hit. Four. Seven force damage. All right. And I'm going to be like, so we're sitting in the dwarves, right? <laughs> Brock. You know, you could address the dwarves, be like, you guys are going in, right? Just, we don't have to talk about them in the third person. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, so... I don't know if they talk. I don't speak dwarvish. I do. <laughs> um, I have that. Is it actually mm -hmm. in the spell sheet? Or is it... it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my circle to blasting to cast Scorching Ray on it. Okay. So. 20. Come on. Oh. 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 <laughs> As it bla the first ray just goes wide. Uh. So I think Scorching Ray is multiple rays, isn't it? Yes, it's three. Two. Okay, Ooh. cool. Thank God. All right, uh, second one. It makes up for it. Yes, it does. So it's just double oh, the price, nice, right? Yes. Yeah, so you get uh, 46. Yep. It was literally nice. As if the last one didn't happen. It's not telling me a total. There it is. Yeah, they, they uh, took... 12. I don't think there's any additions to that. Nope. They took and a then minute, the third. So... Yeah. Uh, 15. This so thing is so big. Total fire. Its AC has got to be like eleven, right? <laughs> I mean, a twelve hit. All right. Dwarf. Unless Brock wants to get <laughs> dwarf. Uh. Fuck. So you already know what's gonna happen. Oh well. They're immortal. One, oh, two, three. They can't even reach it. I mean, you, they already died once. Just get, get on with it, guys. Four, five, six. Five, six. Man, it keeps on shifting my perspectives. <sighs> six. Like, I have to click myself to make the other ones appear. Ah. One, two, three, four, five. Aren't they up in your six. wheel up top? Well, they are, but like once I drag and drop a dude, like how I just did, yeah. I can't see down the hallway anymore because I'm selecting the other guy. Yeah, but can't you just select them from your creatures up in the corner? Oh, probably. That uh, assumes so he remembers which one it's moved. Fair. They should be in order, but I don't know. That one can hit, right? No, he uh, dashed. Oh. oh, okay. That's everyone. All right, Ragnar. All right, I'm going to do a thing I've been planning on doing for a while. Um, all right, so question. Yes. So when I have Tashi out, I get an extra D8 on one die roll. Per turn. Right? Yeah, per, per, per turn. thing, actually. If I use a spell... Okay. Wait a minute, per thing? Yeah, so like, I don't think it's per turn. So, like, if you were to somehow cast a spell, two spells in one turn or whatever? So, if I cast a spell that makes someone else do extra damage, do they get a D8 and I get a D8? Mm, I don't because it's so. my spell? I don't know on that one. Um, whenever you cast a... Whenever you, whenever you cast a spell that deals fire damage or restores hit points. Hmm. Because I'm technically casting 
flame arrows. Mm, I don't think that's going to count. What? No? What are no. flame arrows? Alright, well, still, I'm going to... One, two, three, four, five. Oh shit, that's not good. And I'm gonna just kind of reach over and grab Kalana's quiver for a moment and cast flame arrows. Yes. Um, which basically you got for the next hour, you have up to 10, I think it is. Oh, 12. 12 arrows that deal a d6 of fire damage. On top of their normal damage. Sweet. Okay. And I'm going to say, oh shit, and continue down the hallway. <laughs> uh, hey! Tashi. Uh, Tashi gets actions that I keep forgetting about. <laughs> I think she can launch a fire thingy, Majuber. I think uh, most of Tashi's stuff is in melee, if I recall correctly, actually. Uh, I've only been playing this character for a few months. Don't nope. expect me to know what There's I'm doing. Rate. Requires your bonus action. Alright, well, I didn't use my bonus action. And it's like Flame Seed or something like that. Yep. Uh, do, do, do. One of these days, I'll be I'll be good at this, knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> Today's not one of those days. Um, I figured it'll probably happen like when I'm in my sixties or something. Okay, flame seed, range weapon attack, plus four to hit. Uh, are we? Is Tashi thirty feet away from the guy? Nope. Tashi would have to move into the room. One, two, three, four, five. What is your movement? That is 30 feet away. All right. Oh. What's the total? <laughs> That's a seven. That's a hit. What? <laughs> Okay, it's got a negative AC. Cool. I mean, it is a giant cube of goo, so why am I surprised? Alright, gonna go ahead and uh, throw out a whole giant D6 plus 2. Six fire. Alright. That it? Uh, yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's it. I guess I take out an arrow and it Starts being on fire. Yep. <laughs> yes. I'm not positive, but I think from the spell description, it doesn't catch on fire until it hits something. There's oh shit! Thing. She's packing heat. There's basically <laughs> a small spark of flame at the tip of your arrow. Says the guy, the the one guy with a gun. <laughs> I I like this spell. Um, you didn't tell me you could do this. Uh, <laughs> gonna fire at the cube. Oh, oh. Nice. So do I double the fire you damage? Double the fire dice as well. Yes. It's like having that extra D8 all along. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Don't roll shitty. Don't roll shitty. So that's 24. All right. As you loose the arrow and it flies through, as soon as it leaves your bow... The entire arrow becomes a piercing arrow of flame. And it goes straight through the cube, piercing the skull that was floating in the center. And as it flies out, the cube shrinks and becomes a small puddle on the floor. Dead. <laughs> Wait. <gasps> Hold up. So all we had to do was mage hand that skull out of there? No. Was it really that easy? <laughs> Did I seriously just spend a third level spell? Yeah. For <laughs> one arrow? Yeah. Hey, 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 that I did it. So, first of all. Point, you did do it. To be fair, we did hit it with a lot of fire damage overall. Um, 
So, uh, as it melts down, the skull has kind of clattered to the other side of the room. Um, and as soon as I can find the right music, and there it is, dark and human. So as soon as I can find the right music to go back. Um, the skull has clattered to the other side of the room. The arrow's still in it. Um, and in the puddle of kind of goop is the bodies of Shun and his three uh, dudes. His three bugbears. Well, time to collect the head. Ugh. Smells like a porta john in here. What the hell? I'm gonna get his head. All right. <laughs> and then the door slam, water trap. <laughs> this is the water trap. Um... Uh, the doors <laughs> are not closing. Quick question. Yeah. Who thinks I should make a bad decision? Uh, <laughs> what character are you on? <laughs> Ragnar. Uh, four. No, number His four. <laughs> oh, number four. No, yeah, this is number four, but I only consider him number three because number three didn't die. He did. He, just he retired, which is the same as death to an adventure. I mean, if you think about it, you found <laughs> Martin in a closet. We did. And then he's just sort of just terrified being drug along like, why? Mark, Mark, For the entire time. Um, Kalana. Yeah. yeah. Uh, while you are removing Shun of his head, um, you do notice that he has a necklace with a silver key on it. Taking that. Hey, did we see any kind of shiny lockbox back in his, his hidey hole? Not that I recall, but we look. can go back and just like have a peek. One hand with the knife, <laughs> the other hand holding up the key. If anybody wants it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go gonna ahead and step forward and start hacking with my scimitar. Like you are very inefficient with a knife. <laughs> it's a have dagger, a... and I'm very efficient with it. Thank you. I've killed a lot of. I've, I have. Beheaded. I know many how people. to use a dagger. I'm gonna smash the skull. No. Okay. Not Aww. not not Shun skull, the gelatinous cube skull. Okay. I was um, gonna put that in my bag with my collection make, of skulls. Make a uh, make a strength check. Oh, a strength check, you say? Yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> strength check. Oh, <clears throat> three. You you picking it up? Oh, you realize no. it's uh it's kind of a short squat skull. Uh, maybe some sort of dwarf. Uh huh. Um, and, and the arrow is just barely sticking into it. And as you pick it up, the arrow actually falls out. Um, it barely left a dent in this thing. And uh -huh. as you slam it on the ground, it just bounces. Clatters against uh -huh. the ground. Hey, whoa, whoa, uh -huh. truth, truth, truth. I want Yeah. That. Uh, no, I'm going to kick it through this open doorway. <laughs> what? No, no, no. I need that. A... Kick it down the vent. The, is the it vents on the made side. Of bone? Is there a vent on the side? There are yeah. like no, there are like tiny holes. Drains. There are oh, like tiny, tiny holes. Drain holes. Not a... Is is right. this skull actually made of bone? It definitely seemed to be, from what Truth saw. Can I do a medicine check? Sure. To see if it is actually bone. Do the tongue test. Uh, I am not oh, an archaeologist, what? so I'm going to pass. <laughs> That's how you know if something's rock or bone. You lick it. My God. If it sticks, it's bone. <laughs> According to the internet, that is, is this a what they teach thing. you in school, Brock? Is this what you went to school for? To lick things? He is high in medicine. <laughs> oh, shit. 26. It is the skull of a Durgar. Oh, that's like an old-timey dwarf, isn't it? What the hell is a Duragar? Dark dwarf. <laughs> that was in character. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, actually, hold up one second. Look at Brog. <laughs> huh. Mm. You uh, know what a Duragar is? Oh, I know I exactly assume... what, what Mark's going to go get. I assume oh, no. I would know. <laughs> is he, does he have a skull? Tell me he has a skull. Please be a skull. He has a Duragar skull. <laughs> Please be a skull. Uh, I have misplaced Ronald. Disregard. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> oh, wait, was it the tiny skeleton? No. The mermaid skeleton? 
No, actually, I haven't named that one yet. I have a foam skull I bought. Oh, <laughs> crap, like 11 years ago. Yeah. Anyway. Who is my constant companion? Ronald, the foam skull. But yes, it is the skull of a Duragar. Hmm. What's um, a Duragar? Oh. Uh, go ahead and make me an Arca Arcana check, Ragnar. It's a dwarf of some kind. Twelve. Uh, Durgar are known for their magical ability to enlarge themselves. Did you guys? So it's a it's a Durgar skull. Did you guys run into one of these? Didn't you run into one of these before? I think Martin mentioned something about about a bunch of dwarves. In a basement, did. and the dwarves got really big. Something oh, got man. Caroline. I don't know what it was. <laughs> it was chat. Please, please, please Caroline. tell me when he said that <laughs> the dwarves me. got big, he was talking about like their body size. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll check Twitch. What's going on? <laughs> oh, I see it. Okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> That's great. So otherwise, this room is uh, about 30 foot high, swept clean. No traces of dust or debris from the obvious um, gelatinous cube. cube that was here. Um, <laughs> and I can't remember if you had seen these last time, uh, Kalana, but you can huh. see that the walls are carved with frescoes uh, depicting giant cities of black stone submerged beneath yes. raging seas. Yes, mm -hmm. I do remember that, yes. And beyond the entrance you guys came in, and the room you know exists on the other side, uh, you have a doorway here, a doorway here, and a archway into another room over here. I say go to the archway. Send the dwarf through first. I say... <clears throat> uh, Kalana, uh -huh. question. Answer. In the future, could we discuss before we start shooting people? When? I thought um, shoot the cube was the, the was bug bear, without saying. The, the bug, bug bear bears. about ten minutes ago. But that was the whole thing. Is we were gonna go, we were gonna shoot them. You were gonna do the thing and then distract them, See, and I, I was gonna be I, in the dark and shoot them. I don't right? remember that. that was, was, I don't remember being that being the plan. I thought that was. The plan. I mean, it all it all turned out great. I'm not trying to criticize. Yeah, I killed them for you guys. Yes, you did awesome. I'm just saying, in the future, like let's let's let's. Not I shoot anyone before we tell other people we're gonna shoot someone. I thought, I thought. Uh, th look, this is like the one. This is my. This is the. This is what I have. This is like. All, <laughs> this is all I have. <laughs> I just. I shoot things. I. It's what I do. Um, yeah, and you do great at it. Just it's like, at the very least, just look right. at me and be like, look at us and be like. Oh yeah, you know, oh, yeah. I'm invisible. Ah, uh, she got you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um. So. All right. I retract my previous argument. You do what you you do. You. We're doing good. We're fine. So I imagine at this point the berserkers look really confused. Like now what? A little bit. Uh, <laughs> they're a little like hangry. Uh. So. Hey. I'm just gonna kind description. of. Welcome. Right. So I'm going to point them towards the archway door and just kind of like go. All right. Go on through and okay. send them through. So they're all just gonna like. You can teleport them over there. Okay, cool. They're all just gonna like run through that fucking door and kill whatever's inside. Oh, there actually is a door. My bad. So yeah, it's it's another stone door. Uh, they can easily open it with their strength. All right, and they're just gonna run in and attack whatever's in there, if anything. There is nothing that they nothing to attack that they see. Uh, of course, oh. they're not going to be back to tell you what's what's in there, so. They just don't return. They don't? Nope. You Is told them to go in that? there and kill whatever's in there. You never said to come back. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were saying, like, something's preventing them, and I'm like, okay. Kind of glide on over there. Have I managed to get Shun's head off his body yet? Yes. Yes. Okay. And then I guess kind of fly on in myself. 
So what you see is what appears to be a limestone altar topped with a misshapen mound of gold that looks like it was poured in molten form and left there until it cooled and hardened. Um, additionally, you see wall carvings around the room. Um, black mildew drops from lidless eyes and gaping mouths carved into the walls. All right. Anything well, to note in there? Nope, just a big pile of gold and some carvings on the wall. I'm oh, sorry, big pile of what? Melted gold. Oh. Wait, can you, can you get it? I mean, you guys can go around the point. I'm gonna, these guys got like a time limit, so I'm gonna send them through doors. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Clear some rooms. Uh, go, I guess, this one. Yep, I'm Door gonna room. point them over to that one. I think this is pretty much the last room we got, so... Pretty much. Mm -hmm. All right. Harder in time. All right. Um, let's see. As uh, this that door opens, uh, there it almost has some resistance, and then there is a sudden rush of water. I need everyone... Uh, <laughs> Guys, we found the water oh. room. <laughs> well, at least the other two doors are already open. I need everyone in this bubble uh, to make me a strength saving throw. I'm flying? Mm. Yep. How tall is the water? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. There's a lot of water. <laughs> like, it's over 10 feet tall? Uh, there's 24,000 cubic feet of salt water coming out. Surprised the door opened so easily. <laughs> Said uh, I, I kind of gave it to your barbarians. You said strength? Yep. Okay, you want one for all of them, one at a time? Uh, one at a time. Okay. If, they, if they fail first. it, they're knocked prone. Okay. So he got a... Oh. Uh, he got 11. Okay. Uh, they're this knocked prone, did. and they'll take... Um, Anyone who fails is knocked prone and is going to take 10 bludgeoning damage. Okay, next is this guy. Oh, I guess they have names. Dwarf 5. 19. He's fine. Dwarf 7. 19. He's fine. 16. Fine. 1. 13. Also fine. And the last dwarf for... Uh, ooh, okay. <laughs> 22. He's fine. And then me at a minus one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, you're knocked down to the ground and take 10 bludgeoning damage. Bludgeoning, you say? Yep. Um, uh, along with the sudden deluge of water that comes pouring in the room... Basically, a giant wave just comes out of this door, and then slowly the room empties out until there's about an inch of water throughout this entire room uh, as it slowly starts to drain. Uh, it's also a corpse. Uh, a What appears to be someone in green and purple robes, very rotted and bloated. I'm going to help Brock up since I'm right there. Help get Brock. him back up on his feet. You all right? What did you do? Oh, uh, I found the water. You're a little oh. wet there. Uh, so you did. I'm going to turn off my boots, by the way. There's no point in flying anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yes, we'll and a, and a dead room. guy. I'm going to yeah. turn on my boots. What do they they're, do? They're just boots. They, the, my feet are dry. <laughs> <laughs> I, you said there's an inch of water in this room? Yep. I am now an inch taller. Oh, oh yeah, because yeah, you can walk water. on water. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, you're right. almost as tall as me now. Yeah, getting there. Two more inches. Alright, so yeah, I guess we'll look at this body. Yeah, it's okay. kind of flushed out <clears throat> in the room. It came out with the water. 
sit in the middle of the dwarves. More or less. Um, it appears to be uh, that of human. Um, and they have green and purple uh, wizard robes. This isn't one of the avatars of the mage, is it? It looks nothing like the mage. Okay, good. It looks like an you just, you just surmise it was probably an apprentice. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I guess looking... Is there anything else in the room, or is it just like a empty... Uh, go ahead and go in there and make me a um, investigation check. Uh, don't uh, go in there. Uh, well, that's too late. That's too late. <laughs> I mean, I only filled with water one time. Um, Thus far. Yeah. Don't shut the door. Nineteen. Plus, I can see all secret doors. Uh, overturned tables, waterlogged books, very much destroyed by the water. Um, and what appears to be a glass wand. I'll inspect the wand. Seems to be an arcane focus. Oh. <laughs> yeah, nothing special, huh. just just a wand. Just kind of leave it there, I guess. You can see, you can tell this was probably his chamber of experimentation. <laughs> Something went terribly, terribly wrong. <laughs> All right, Chad, I see you. Inappropriate. Yeah. Chad's okay, so, dirty. Yeah. Inappropriate, Hughes. <laughs> this dude is dead, so we're just gonna head on out here. <laughs> um, what that wand do, though? Oh, and I'm just gonna kind of <laughs> look at the dwarves and just sort of do a little hand motion, and they'll vanish. Okay. So, what'd you find in there? Just a bunch of broken old waterlogged supplies and his focus, it looks like. I have more questions oh, what about kind the of dwarves. Focus? Oh, There's one more dwarf. Yep. He's the guy who got kicked. He got picked last. Yep. <laughs> but what, what were you saying? Come on. Or, oh, no, go ahead, Ragnar. You're, you're good. Say, go uh, what what kind of focus was it? Oh, like a glass rod. A little wand. Oh. Did, you, uh, did you do that whole identify ritual on it? No. It takes oh. like 10 minutes. I just kind of looked at it. It seems like it's probably... I mean, we can. But... I mean, it seems like a good idea to me, but... I don't know if you your fire arrows. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a good point. Maybe not. Let's not bother. Okay. Leave it. I mean, you can bring it, and we can do it later. Okay. I mean, it's bring not it. like it's <laughs> the table, is it? <laughs> Are we capable of picking it up and putting it in our bag? <laughs> just, uh... About seven inches long. Little glass rod. Or an average. I'm sorry, say again? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wow. Did I miss something? So, uh, so, uh, well, at least yeah. for a human, I mean. <laughs> it's the truth. Um, <laughs> where, where, uh, where are we going to go? <laughs> can't copyright a dick joke. Alright. Uh, yep. So. yep, you guys do have the uh, the silver key from Shun. Uh, you yeah, know that the other person is past the Guardian. And then you have that room over there with the misshapen gold mouth. Let's go find out what this key goes to. Can I fit the misshapen gold mound in my bag of holding? You would have to go look at it. All right, I'm going to go look at the misshapen gold mound. What? Are you okay, Neil? Uh, I'm going to move my character. Really. Uh, go. I got it. Uh, it is large. It is taking up <clears throat> the entire altar. Yep, nope, okay. Next. Mm. Find what the key goes to. You guys can just teleport back to Shun's. Yeah. <laughs> Bushies. <laughs> Sean, Mama, the non-believer. Um, Ragnar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you recall seeing a chest in one of the side rooms? 
No, oh, guys, I just remembered. I recall seeing a chest in one of these side rooms. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh my this God. one over here. Oh. <laughs> wow. So, um, from the angle my camera was at, I thought that table was just a black void <laughs> that wasn't <laughs> rendering. Like, wow. why are you not working? <laughs> right. not quite. Put floor there. The episode's not working. Let's open it. Or see if I guess it opens it. Alright, so you stick the key in the lock, glides in easily, twists, and the chest opens. <laughs> and it snaps. <laughs> uh, there is a, a few pouches of gold. <clears throat> About 100. Nice. So just divvy that up. 25. Yeah. You get this was probably the, some of the gold that he was using to pay his gang and was going to pay you for the stone key. Oh, hey, look, we got it anyway. <laughs> yeah. How much was it a person? 25 Cause, each. That's because we used the best solution. Murder. It's a 25. <laughs> yeah, 25 each. Oh, okay. It's a lot less than I thought we'd get for that. Huh. We still have more work to do. Can we stop by Rosero's place and, and drop the head off? No offense, but I don't really want to carry this around or put it in my bag. I'll put it in my bag. No, How big's the chest? No, that's fine. I'd, uh, we should just give it to him. Probably like... That big? Is it bigger than a bread box? It's about the size of a red <laughs> Can I fit the head in it? Yeah, say, yes. let's do some presentation here. We get some yes. flair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And lock it with the key and give him the key. There you go. Okay, yeah. All right. I'm going to do it. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And now I got the box. Hi, new friend. We brought you a present. <laughs> got to have the 15 pieces of flair minimum. Maybe some showmanship will gain his trust. <laughs> All right, so I mean that's on the way to the Guardian anyway, isn't it? I'm stopping by his place, so not cause... really. Oh well, I'm just uh, I'm just imagining imagining the TikTok like. So I hired some people to murder my rival, and I thought it was normal, and then they came in with this, and now I'm concerned for my safety. <laughs> Hi, we don't know how to interact normally with other people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could have fun with this. Okay. Did he he want us to take out just Shun or no? no there's there's another one. one. Yeah, there's another one. But I mean, this way we could just drop it off, so we don't have to keep carrying it. And maybe can... maybe we can get him to come with us to help, he or maybe send some were rats. He also asked you to take out Nadia the Unbent. Uh, who was past right. the Guardian. Yeah. And he gave you away past the Guardian. Does anybody yes. have... But he did say it only kind of works once, so if we try to go back again, we might have to fight the Guardian. So no. that's why I was thinking, right? No, no he said uh, after you do it, he, it just kind of tends to ignore you until you come back through, and then you got to do it again. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I thought like it was going to get suspicious of us coming back. Gotcha. Oh, hey. Okay, well, okay. we could also try to maybe get some were rats to help us fight Nadia. If he sees that we've already killed one, he might give us help. I mean, I'm willing to try. Lead the way, boss. Stop calling me hey. that. Hey, really quick. Who has the chest with the head in it? Can you, you open it up real quick? What? Why? Just because. Why? Artificer stuff. Brock, why? <laughs> It'll be good. Brock! Uh, you'll see, you'll what? like it. Just open it, I'll show you. Alright, fine. I'm scared. I okay. It. So you see him kind of like reach into his bag, pull out like this little like, looks like a silver like blank sign almost, like a tiny little tin sign or something. Kind of like fixes it on the inside of the of the chest lid and then closes it and goes, okay. What's, what is it? Just a little tinker. 
Uh, uh, moving right along. You're giving so, me anxiety. Uh, uh, it's it's gonna display. It's gonna. So when he opens it up, it's basically gonna have a small visual effect of like confetti going off. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we did murder. <laughs> All right. What the hell? <laughs> I've got four of these. I gotta use them. <laughs> Why? Because there's one that's still unknown to me inside my alchemy set. <laughs> we, oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I'm waiting on Kalana to pull it out of her sock or whatever I think it's in. No, I said he was going to put it in Ragnar's bag. That's right. Wait, yeah. what? I think the original Can idea was... teleport to... back to Rosero or... Um, if you guys don't uh, want to go to the Misshapen Gold or the Guardian, because both of those are on the way. Rosero Riz wanna... is really far, in which case we... both your fire arrows and oh. the fire spirit will be have worn out by the time you get to Rosero. All right. I, I hate to metagame, yet. but clearly something's have, going on. Or you can have both of those for the guard uh, for Nadia without recasting. I would just go for Nadia first yeah, one. Yeah, fuck it, alright. Because we kind of need both anyway. Alright. Yeah, okay. Do we know where she's at? Yeah, past the Guardian. Oh, well, I shit, I could have sent the orb after her ass. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kind of like, you know, following right. the party along, like... Which which way? Yeah, so oh, what's that? Things to kill? your guys' current room. Um, the... Oh, that's a thing now. Yeah. There's the, yeah. the hallway that you were told if you go down there, you will run into the Guardian. So it's right there is where we need to go? Yep. And you're oh. basically only going to have a handful of minutes left on your on your guys' stuff, but where, if you get into a combat, that's... Is this? Okay. That's I was about to say, is this the right spot? Yes. Somebody beat me to it. Oh, is this the hallway I almost walked down alone? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> It's probably where the guardian is. Okay. Can you? Did you find it, Neil? Morgan. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh, crap. Where's Tashi? Tashi, no. <laughs> Just dragging along. Zoop. Hi. All right. I got the wand. So. Where? I'm lost. Oh, hey! Don't forget about your little horn. But we're not trying to sneak. We're trying to pass off as standard. Oh, we're just. Oh, okay. Never mind. Fair enough. We're bad. Don't mm. mind the box with the head in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot. I can make this thing fly now. Is that Ragnar okay. lagging behind? Ragnar, are you yeah. coming? I'll be there in a moment. I'm reading my rules to see how long my wildfire spirit lasts. An hour. Yep, one hour. Oh, hey. Yep. <laughs> uh, so as you guys turn the corner, you can see mm. a bulbous head with many uh, tentacle eye stalks coming off of it. A large gaping mouth. And the flesh appears to be rotting and the eyes all milked over. Oh, thank goodness. Um, and it just, and it's kind of floating around. And as you guys enter the hallway, it just kind of turns your, your direction. Cool. <gasps> Fireball. Uh, well. Are, 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 you, you, okay. are you really? I say, are, you, are you fireballing? That, that is my fear response. Fireball. Oh god, he actually... Oh, is that what you're doing? Okay. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Guess we're fighting the Guardian anyway. Why? <laughs> didn't even need to do any of that other you stuff we knew. just did. I didn't expect this. That is, that he is told my us what it was! <laughs> did he? he did I tell us what it was. He did! Alright, fine. No firebolt. <laughs> he had said it was a boulder zombie. I was going to say, he did actually tell oh, us. Okay, it was. I'd forgotten he... that. I apologize. No, no firebolt. Huh. <laughs> Prepare to firebolt. Don't firebolt. <laughs> Just use the magic. Just, just the you see him raising his hands to cast a spell, and you just slap him. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just slap his hand uh, as physically. You, no, no. As you uh, produce the wand and show the the symbol of Xanathar, it just kind of 
you see all the ice stalks kind of hone in on you and the wand. And then it just kind of... <sighs> and then just begins to float around lazily again. Cool, good talks. All right. Yep. Is there a... You can hear in the next room... Uh, uh, which you may not want to move that far yet until I'm done describing things. Okay. Um, it... <laughs> Um, you can hear the sounds of combat uh, in in the next room. Um, what sounds like various people cheering and fighting? Uh, as and you hear someone, uh, you you hear a bunch of people going Nadia, Nadia, Nadia. I think we found her. Hey guys, I think Nadia's in that room. <laughs> I, I don't know why you would assume that. Do you want to just just casually walk in and just? All right, so I'm do, I'm rolling to fire two arrows apply to my hey. of thorn. I didn't hear Kalana. a word you said. Sorry. Kalana. What? Three people talk give, at once, and it was just like that. Give her the box as a present, and when it goes off, we attack. It'll be I, the signal. So, what, what was your two d twenty four? Uh, nothing. I had picked them up when I was gonna fireball the guy, ah, okay. or fireball the guy, and can't put them down. Got it. Yeah, I hadn't heard because. Nope. No worries. Out. There's a lot excited. of lot of lot of talking <laughs> going on. Yep. A lot of chitty chatty. Yeah, but it's just Skype will literally just interrupt people, other people with other audio, and so it's like I can only hear one person whenever three people talk. Uh, anyway, um, words words are hard. Um, but yeah, so you guys can see clearly ahead of you, um, because there is actually some light in that room. I have forgotten to put little lanterns down, uh, but there is light in that room. Um, you can see a, a bunch of people kind of making a semicircle, and what appears to be a ring of blood uh, in, in, the, uh, in the center. Uh, it almost seems like a combat ring, and you see a figure in, in armor... Uh, a, a female figure in armor holding up a, a sword raised and, and like bringing on the cheers. I bet that's her. This looks like a. Who's next to me? I don't know. Either one on one kind of situation. Should I, um. We challenge her to like a duel or something? Is that what people do? Oh, I was just gonna cast fireball on all of them. But what is the thing behind us going to attack? Mm. All right, I so who's just smart who... enough to discern like good zanth or bad zanth art? And they just don't know what we're doing. I mean, I who's, can. Uh, who's doing our? I don't think. Scythe. <laughs> <laughs> I just raise up my scythe. I'm like, oh. You, want... uh, you kind of need her head. Yeah, we need yeah. to do oh, yeah. You can't uh -huh. dust your mate. You, I mean, ahead. I can. All I right, think I've so, got the highest armor. I can just go in and outlast her. Truth, go. Well, that you go seems for the minion. like That's a true. poor assumption. They haven't noticed us, have they? Uh, as you turn, you do notice that Nadia is just standing there staring at you guys. Hi. Hey, are you Nadia? <laughs> well, How's it going? I haven't seen your faces around here. Yeah, we're sort of new. I think we've been down here... What is it, guys? Like a week? How many, a week? Uh, how many stars... Or sorry, yeah, words. You know what's coming. How many eyes <laughs> does Xanathar have? Uh, a fuck ton. As many, as, many as there's as stars as in the sky. Us. We've been over this. I <laughs> yeah, swear to say. God, Ragnar. <laughs> Please excuse him. He is an ass. That is as, my uh, default new. state. As many uh, as there's stars in the sky, if um, you didn't hear. I mean, enough to get past that. Our friend here likes to joke about things, but he still hasn't quite grasped, to, grasped that it's dangerous down here to make jokes like um, that. Brock. Yes. You notice uh, that... Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yes. This section of wall looks slightly transparent. 
Okay. Like as if it can be opened, or as if it's not really there, like a like, shimmer. Like you kind of see like a a slight glow to it, and you can almost see beyond the like into the wall. You can see mechanisms. Ooh. And you can clearly see the outline of like locks and stuff leading to a switch in the wall. Is anyone kind of positioned near it and looks like they might do something with it? Not at all. Okay. So they may not even know about it. Okay. There are definitely people near it, but they don't look like they're... They're not, like, getting ready to, like, pull a lever on us if we walk in the room. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Nope. Okay. Uh... What brings you to this corner of the arcane chain? I'm sorry, the Arcane Chambers? I didn't know this place had a name. Uh, is that a thing? Guess you guys are new to the guild and new to the... Un Just a little. Shun sent us. Ah, interesting. Well, welcome to the Southern Headquarters. Hmm. Definitely different than the other headquarters. As, as Tashi comes into view, she just, she, her eyes light up. Oh, who's your cute little <laughs> kitty? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh yes, this is her, my companion. Her buff, Go ahead, Tashi. Her buff demeanor suddenly melts in front of you. Oh, what is it? Um, what is that graph? It's, uh, <laughs> the closer proximity you have to animals, the higher pitched and dumber you become. Yeah. Yes. The flicker, <laughs> proximity to animals. animals. And name the if statements. <laughs> yeah. I think I actually got it mixed up, but whatever. And what is she again? Is she human? Uh, she is a uh, very tall, probably, when she, you, you know she was taller than truth. Hmm. Oh, dang. Very powerfully built woman with shaggy black hair and pale skin. Uh, Human? Yes. Okay. I was picturing like an orc, honestly, until you said that. Yep. Nope. Well, like the kind of woman you would look at and go, please step on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, she, she, uh, <clears throat> she has now strapped to her back a um, what? great axe. Sounds hot. <laughs> And is wearing um, hide armor. Episode 14. The party is too horny to complete the mission. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she reaches down and begins to uh, pet at Tashi. And the fire does not seem to be. That's, I was going to say, that seems like a bad idea since she's made of fire. But, oh, okay, no. Nope. Fire doesn't mm -hmm. bother her, though. And that's Apparently you're good on this. She doesn't <clears throat> burn you? I mean, I s sort of assumed that Tashi's like Ponyta, and they only burn people that they want to burn. Oh. Oh. Or she's actually probably looking at Nadia, like, I, I do genuinely say, you know. So oh. Tashi doesn't oh. burn you? Sorry, I thought I was out of character. No, it's okay. Nah, rings are handy. And you see several magical rings on her fingers. Ooh. That they are. So what brings you to this corner of the chambers? Heard wandering about, about... Oh, sorry. No, you're good. I was going to say wandering about, mostly. Was there Actually, ever... to be completely fair, I'm wandering about following these guys. They might have their own reasons. I don't know what it is. I thought Shun sent you. Was that it? Gotta That's what I was going to ask. I literally Jack. have no idea. That's what I was going to ask. Was was there ever an indication <laughs> that they knew Shun? Yes, they knew Shun. And, like, worked with them. They weren't, like, enemies. I literally just Twelve. said Shun sent us. Yep. Yes, you did. And they walked right into that. Was that 12? Yep. What is insight based off of? Wisdom. All right. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, 
I, I was trying to look up something at the same time on D and D Beyond, and like a bunch of fucking homebrew showed up. Mm. I don't want any goddamn homebrew to show up, so it's kind of pissing me off. Oh, it's because I clicked the wrong section. Ah, that's why. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, she uh, she kind of glances up. I see. She just looks around. Killed them. Uh, we tried. I missed the whole conversation. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. You weren't paying attention. Well, I was trying to think of something. And yeah. Uh, my bad, guys. I'm so, we're gonna. Oh God. We're gonna duct tape Ragnar's mouth shut. I was gonna talk <laughs> about like how we were sent to retrieve her for Sean, and we were like her escort. <laughs> Yep, nope, uh, Ragnar gave you guys away. Fucking Ragnar. <laughs> and I didn't even get to God. heal yet, man. <laughs> uh, let's see, I need... I am an idiot. I think you're probably gonna have to roll for Neil. Oh, did you Can I just, like, use grease and ink everywhere and we escape? <laughs> Here, I'll... Oh, oh no, he's back. back. Roll for initiative, Truth. Ragnar fucked us. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. You donked up. <laughs> yeah, I know that was that was Martin's job, but... 18. My bad. Okay, well, wow. 20, 25 to 20. <laughs> Did no one get, a, get 25 to 20? Mm. Okay. Oh, nope. 20 to 15. I know. Truth got 18. These guys got higher than that. Did anyone get higher than 18? Okay. No, nothing else up to 15 then? Okay. Um, what's your initiative mod? Okay. Um, 15 to 10. I got a 14. Kevin. <laughs> oh. And Brock. I got four. Nice. Mm -hmm. Out right. of you. First thing we go. Bugbears. Jesus, that's a lot. This is why I don't talk. <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't have let you talk. Let's... In the future, I won't talk. <laughs> as long as we have a future. I mean, dead or alive. Where's the one I want? There it is. All right. So let's see. Bam, bam. That is. Uh, that is a lot to hit. That's a twenty. Oof. That's a hit. Two. <laughs> No, not that many. Okay. I actually had to double check for a second because, like, I get hit so infrequently. I'm like, what is my AC? Ten piercing damage as it Oof. swings its morning star into you. Hmm. All right. Um, I'm gonna just sort of go over here and start rolling up the next mark. Oh. Uh, truth. 12 to hit. Uh, that's a miss. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, they can't get past you, so. Four. Just come on over here and then taking out a javelin. And Kalana. Mm -hmm. Uh, 16 to hit. Nope. <clears throat> and Brock. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear me say miss? <laughs> um, and then Nadia.
Truth. Yo, yo, yo. All right. Gonna use my scythe on the guy in front of me. Hey, hey. A 26. <laughs> that is definitely a hit. No. Uh, for a uh, 17 damage. Wow. 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 All right. And I'll swing again. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, for 20 damage. As he's Woo! just dusted. I'm just gonna move him off. Move him That's off. fine. Alright. Alright. Oh, uh, actually, I am gonna use um, a Cursed Spectre on him to, to raise him back up with an HP of 3. And he gets his own initiative. So... Uh... Seven. <laughs> and he has the same stats as he did before. That's pretty cool. Getting a lot of firsts out of this uh, last couple of sessions. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. All right. That's cool. Ragnar. <laughs> Does that hit everybody except for that one that uh, Truth just raised? Uh, pretty much everyone, but uh, there are uh. two people out of it. The one Truth raised and one other person. Nadia. Uh. Nadia. Fireball. And of course Which it also hits your cat. <gasps> but the cat She's fire. immune to fire. Is she? Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, well, I looked it up before I cast she the spell. Gets oh, shit. Damage yeah, immunities. Fire. Fire. Nice. Uh, the All right. Is correct, actually, use. Surprisingly. I was very lucky in that regard. I'm sorry, say again? Uh, talking to Chat. Use. Chat question. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Uh, so, I need a lot of fucking rolls. Dexterity saving throws. I think my DC is 14, but I've gone and forgotten. Oh, 15. My DC is 15. DC 15. All right. Uh, go ahead and get me the damage up so I can just do it on the fly. Because I know it's DC half, right? Yep. Twenty-nine. And so half of that would be fourteen. Just get evaporated. And then bugs. Huh. Wait. Hmm? Those two little dice results. Uh, let's see. Pass, fail, fail. Uh, what's your DC again? 15. Pass, fail, 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 pass. So, the two extremes, one and five, passed. Everyone else did not. How much was it again? 29? Yep. All right, they are all still up. Oh, no. <laughs> A lot of them look pretty crispy. Uh, but they are all <laughs> still up. I'm in danger. Uh, question. <laughs> Did that include your extra D8? Yes, it did. Okay. All right. Is that it? Yep. Um, actually, sorry. I'm going to take a risk. And... <laughs> retreat. All right. Yep, you're going to get an attack of opportunity from Mr. Punk Bear there. All right. And he's going to miss. I'm going to retreat. And then on 
Tashi's turn. Uh-huh. She's going to fill the gap. Okay. And... Uh, disadvantage, right, for a, a ranged attack? In melee, yes. Melee? Okay. Um... <laughs> mm. Six against the bugbear, right next to her. That is the undead one. I'm gonna guess that misses. Yeah, that misses. Oh, well, better luck next time, Tashi. Talana. <laughs> oh, she tried her best. You do still get the fire on your arrows this combat. <laughs> and... I use hail of thorns. Does that apply? Uh. No, it would it would apply to the initial arrow, not any extra damage. Nice stuff. Uh, also, your in, your bardic inspiration is definitely gone by now. Oh shit! Yeah, I forgot to use that. All right, well, well. Um. Let's do bugbear four. Uh, 14. 14 is a miss. <laughs> Try again. Uh, 17. That's it. Okay. The first one pinged off his shield. And 12. He is not looking so hot. One more arrow in him. Oh, that'll yeah. Work. As your arrow flies true, and this one gets all the damage. Arm, he just falls over. Oh, okay. I don't even. Nope. He did. All right. Oh, is it, uh, would you like to move it all? I'm good. All right. I'm good. Whoops. So he picked up some dice and was like, re-roll all of those? Sure. No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Let me try. Right. This one's going to take out a crossbow and shoot at Kalana. Rude. And Mias. And this one's going to do the same thing. And miss. And this one's gonna shoot at uh, Truth. Actually, it's probably gonna shoot at the Spectre. And hit. So there went the Spectre. Uh, yes, probably. <laughs> uh, considering he crit. So unless he rolls uh, a one. Uh, yeah, ten damage. Yeah, no, he's gone. <laughs> I tried. Hey, it absorbed a hit. Yeah. Yeah. This one's going to crossbow with truth. Uh, 16 to hit. Nope. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he had absorbed a crit. Yeah, that is a big deal. Not that yes. it would have mattered for you guys. And this one's yeah. gonna shoot at Ragnar. Don't don't do that. Uh, Seventeen to hit. <laughs> Miss. Okay. Uh, this bugbear's dead. Um... Oh wait, I actually skip rock. Oh wait, no, no, that was the phantom bugbear. Did not skip rock. <laughs> it's Brock's turn. I'm last. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> You're doing your best. <laughs> Guess he's gonna run up here. That's the that that, the phantom guy. No, the phantom one's no. Dead. The, that's that's what I thought. Movie. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, I to double check. Gonna punch him. That's <laughs> all I can do. Brock is last because he was assuming that Ragnar would not be an idiot, which was a poor assumption, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Uh, Twenty-four. That's a hit. Four. Twelve. All right. 
12 thunder. And then sidestep. Woo. Punch him again, side of the head. Okay. 15. Nope. He blocks ah. you with a shield. Shouldn't have tried. All right. All right. Good enough. This one's dead. This one is going to attack you. Yeah. You won't do it. Uh, 20 to hit. Miss. All right. All right. It doesn't have multi-attack, so that was it. Thank God. Insane. <laughs> I know, right? All right, Nadia. <laughs> Bring it on. Going to rush over here. This is going to hurt. With A worthy opponent. Uh oh. And as she screams her berserker rage. The what? Um, 25 to hit. I cast shield to make it a miss. <laughs> <laughs> nice attack. try, lady. Second attack. <laughs> Don't taunt her! Crit. Uh, which is negated from your armor, but it's still a hit. That, uh, by the way, takes her up to a 28 to hit. Wait. No, sorry, 27. Oh, so I thought since it was a crit, it was still a hit no matter what. Yeah, pretty much. But oh, well, I mean, if it, well, because if it's 27, she actually, it's a tie. That would still be you. Hey. Oh. Attacker wins. Yeah. Uh, so you take seven slashing damage. So I take nothing. Sweet. Cool. Truth. Uh, Any, I idiot. will hit. Uh, never mind. Sorry. Go ahead. I'll hit the bugbear in front of me. Okay. For uh, 24? That's 24. Good. Boop, boop. Uh, 11 damage. And it's just turned to dust. And I s take a step up. And I'm going to take a swing at Nadia. You get advantage. Very nice. Oh, because she's oh, reckless. Uh, oh. 17. Hit. Okay. Uh, 12 damage. No, right. sorry, 13. Um, those are my two attacks. Oh, wait, I can do the, uh... The bump. I'm gonna do the bump. <laughs> Hopper. Hey, 21. Hit. All right. That was also an advantage. Oh, well. Uh, uh Roll both to see if you get, uh, a... Crit? Sure, Crit. okay. Yeah, I'll, okay. I did not. Okay. So, seven damage. All right. <laughs> Ragnar. All right. Um, fireball. Yeah, I think that's it. Fireball. Against him. Uh, uh, is it a against Nadia? Is it a crit? Since it's ranged. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm gonna use firebolt against Nadia. Yeah. Um, is it a crit? Even though it's ranged. Yeah, I don't know if that matters. Bleh. Is it advantage? No. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Sorry. Automatically I need to actually Anna? sleep. <laughs> have I haven't not, done that in like a week. Have you, not had, have you had trouble sleeping? Uh, a lot. Sorry, bud. Anyway. Uh, 14. Uh, that is a hit. <laughs> oh. Wow, well, didn't expect that. Twelve fire. Alright, that is the wrong mini, I think. This was. Alright. And then that's it for my turn. Tashi is gonna move back here next to Kalana. Uh -huh. And is gonna cast Flame Seed. <laughs> 
15. Hit. And that is... 4 fire. Alright. Done? That'll be it for me. Uh, Kalana. I am going to cast Hail of Thorns and shoot at Thug number 5, which will also... Uh, so one and four also need to make deck saving throws. If they fail, they take half. Or if they, I always do that. If they fail, they they take they half. take all of it. If they pass, they take half. Okay. Does the I main can't. bug also need to make one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Twenty-one hit. Hit. Or sorry, twenty-two. Hit. Yay. So, so roll, this one roll is. Hit damage first, then roll. roll yeah, this one is yeah, just for him. And who was it you you were shooting specifically? Uh, number five. Okay, so Nadia also has to make one. Oh yeah, she does. Yeah. Okay, what's the damage on? Uh, he got twelve. No, 11. Okay. And... Thorns damage? Wow. <sighs> Four. Yeah. yeah. So, the others take two. <laughs> one of them is not looking so hot. Which one? Um, thug four. Okay, I'll shoot that one. Next. Okay. Yay! That's a hit. Seven. I still have my fire arrows, right? I'm yeah. adding in my fire dice. Yeah, unless you've uh, shot 12 times and nope. we haven't noticed. 12. 12 damage. He falls over the end. Yee. That it? Yeah, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> uh, 20 to hit? Yes. Uh, 8 bludgeoning damage. Ooh. And then again. Uh, 11 to hit. A uh, miss. And this one is going to shoot at Brock. Oh no. Yeah, it's gonna miss. Cool. And this one's going to shoot at Truth. Uh, 20. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 20, yes. <laughs> it starts with a 2, it do. Uh, 9 bludgeoning, 9 piercing damage. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Dead. Not looking hot. <laughs> This one is all is going to shoot at Kalana and miss. Rock. Uh, well, going to aim my fists at the leader and start swinging. You get advantage. All right. So first versus twenty-one. It's a hit. Or six damage, thunder. Right. Second swing. Twenty-one. Hit. I rarely land both hits, so remind me: does the damage bonus go on the second attack or no? What do you mean? Yes. Never mind. Okay. Twelve. Thunder. I was trying to think: do I do plus four to the second attack as well? But I keep getting it mixed up with two weapon fighting. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So twelve thunder on the second one. All right. And then I will use my bonus action to get my 4 temp HP back. That's it. All right. Uh, this bugbear is dead. Nadia's turn. And she uh -oh. is going to Berserker again. Uh -huh. And a 
attack. Brock. For a 26 to hit. Shield. Miss. Okay. And another attack against you. And last the that. So, and shield lasts the entire round, doesn't it? Yep. Yep. Okay. Truth. Uh, I will attack the guy in front of me. Mm. Yep. Uh, 21. Okay. Uh, 12 damage. All right, still up. And again. 18. Eleven damage. Dusted. Hooray! Truth is looking a little better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. Ragnar. So, uh, Truth, on a scale of one to say your maximum HP, how are you looking? <laughs> I look a little less than halfway. All right. <laughs> I describe myself daily. <laughs> a little less than halfway. <laughs> halfway to what? Uh, we're halfway there. Oh, oh yeah. lemon and a pear. <laughs> All right, so. How dare you? <laughs> uh, do you want this healing or not? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, 15. Cool. 15 yeah. healing points. Uh, and I'm pretty, pretty good. I... Then I'm gonna... Step back. <laughs> and I'll use my bonus action so Tasha can attack on her turn. What's that thing oh, doing, that's a big concern. What's that thing doing, Uriah? Just that's a big around. heckin' concern. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, no. I think I don't oh. see that. Yeah, hey, uh, you're doing me a fright there, friendo. The way my camera's angled, I'm looking at the combat, and I just see this thing go, hmm? <laughs> like, into my view, and I'm like, uh-uh. Hello. I mean, I'm just sitting there, and bon suddenly jo. it's above me, like... Bonjour. Bonjour. All right. Uh, flame seed at... Ah, uh, oh, it's a six. Fuck. Forget it. All right, yeah. Kalana. Uh, oh. I at least get behind Truth if he needs more healing. Um. Ah, shit. And my line of sight just vanished. Uh. I know there was a thug in front of him, so I'm going to shoot at that one. Okay. Oh, wait. Can you guys not see minis through minis again? Yeah. Not when I'm oh. directly behind oh. him. I mean, I could see Nadia when I was behind Brock, but I wasn't directly behind Brock. Try double-clicking uh, your portrait. Uh, well, hold on. This uh, this has to go first. That's a hit. Oh, yeah. Now I can see it. You're right. No Weird. Good. Yeah. Uh, like weirdly enough, that made me stop seeing one of them. Huh. <laughs> huh. Like the, the one in the back. Uh. Yeah, okay. Hit. That's strange. I think I lost one when I did it, too. Ten. And he Ten falls five. over dead. And then let's go for... Uh, not yet. Do I get advantage? Nope. I thought she was berserking. Yep. Oh. I think it's melee only. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh. Are you oh. fucking kidding me? I just saw it just go... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's like, oh, sure. oh I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be a disappointment. It's bad news, uh, bears. Okay, uh... well, I tried. All right, Thug One is actually dead. Thug Two is not. He is going to come up here and rush. Truth. 
and miss. Okay. And then he's gonna probably miss again. Yeah, that's a twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Mm -hmm. That's a ten, actually. Ooh. So yeah, double miss. And then Thug Three is gonna shoot Truth after seeing him dust his friends. A seventeen to hit. Uh, that's a hit. Ooh. I did not expect. That. Nine piercing damage. Woo! I... And Thug 5 is actually dead. Rock! Punchy punchy. Swing. Not a swing and a crit, but a swing and a hit. Okay. Uh, 22. That's good. All the dice! Uh, 11. Thunder. Alright, as you punch her square in the jaw, she just falls over. Uh... Huh. All right. I'm just swinging at the other guy. <laughs> Crack. Uh, thug two. Oh. Oh. E three. You don't get advantage on attacking him. Oh, sorry. Uh. Fuck. How do you mean to, uh, you mean to just re-roll it? Yeah, just re-roll it. Okay. Habits. <laughs> uh, twenty-two. Hit. Uh, nine. All right, and he also falls over. <laughs> Ted is a doornail. All right. Oh, with that, there's only one dude left in the room, right? Yeah. You. Bonjour. And turn. Oh wait, wasn't there a wasn't there like an unwritten D and D rule that the secret language is actually Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Wait, isn't that? An... Was that an old meme from our college days? Bonjour. So. Mm. <laughs> the, the 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 lizard. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna use Hexblade's curse on him too. Sorry. Okay. Um, so that's twenty five. That's a hit. C cool. Uh, come on. There it goes. For sixteen damage. And he's dead. All right, cool. Uh, okay, I'm healed. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I know exactly why you're doing that. <laughs> uh. All right. All right. Oh. And let's make sure. Well, we need the head, right? Yep, I got it. You had better not use your scythe to try to cut your head off. <laughs> I, was like, oh, I, I got wait. it, Truth. I, it, it. <laughs> wait a second. Hold up. I have my dagger. I'm just going to go ahead and... Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, you also see different leather uh, hammocks hooked up to stone brackets in the walls. Um, in addition to the blood circle that is that is here in the in the center. And then, yeah, of course, uh, Brock, you see that uh, glowy wall over here. You can see the yes. inner workings of a wall. So I'm going to go there and poke around on it. Okay. So it's been about an hour, right? Yeah, at this point, the fires are gone, and so is Tashi. Well, I was going to say, I'm going to do a... Uh, a heal? Basically, well, no, I'm going to have my character do a quick prayer. And then dismiss Tashi. In a language none of you all understand. Um, so yeah, um, back because very Got quickly you stuff. find the hidden switch and reveal a hidden room. Wow! Oh look, it's a hallway. And wow. immediately you can see. Oh, that's that's hold on, that's weird. Do, do. Uh, you can see another wall. It's very similar right here. Poke, poke. Brock, when did you get so good at this? I don't know. Actually, do I know? No. <laughs> yeah. You guys don't see that? Oh. Nah, usually I do, but... Oh, found their armory. Yep, so you can Thanks. see... Um, uh, and about the about roughly twenty foot high room, 
Uh, racks of weapons and armor stand like library bookshelves amongst the room, with dusty, web-filled aisles between them. Uh, in the middle of the room, you can see what appears to be a uh, giant sharpening wheel. Um, and you can hear the sounds of someone rummaging on the other end of the hall. I'm just kind of point over at Kalana. Okay. Just sort of point down to the other Are end of the hall. Are there torches in here? Point in the direction you assume Kalana is. Well, no, there's torches where we just were, so you could probably yeah. still see me there. Oh, okay. But once I step into the room, I vanish. Yep. Yeah. All right. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh. Make me a uh, stealth check with advantage. Knock over a rack of armor. <laughs> uh, that's t- twenty-two. All right. Uh, you can see up ahead are three bugbears. Uh, they appear to be rummaging through a collection of old morning stars. And two mm-hmm. of them are fighting over a shield. A very old, rusty shield. Mm-hmm. Any of them have symbols that are on their head? No. Oh, okay. okay. Go back real quick. Mm-hmm. Just put a hand on Brock's shoulder. <laughs> You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> I thought you were just going to be like, clunk right on my face. Like, oh. <laughs> no, no, on the shoulder. Uh, so uh, there's, uh. hey, there's three buck bears up there. Um, I doubt they can see me. I don't think they have the brains in there. The Are they doing anything? Fighting over some armor and a shield. Some weapons. Uh. Some, uh, so, I mean, we can just... Any chance you all think we can lock this uh, door from the outside? Uh, so that they don't come up behind us? Is there a but chance the shield's this? important if they're fighting over, or is it just the shield? Did it look, did it look anything to it, Your uh, You could not tell. Uh, were there arrows in this room? Nope. <sighs> it's a bunch of dwarven morning stars, basically. <sighs> It's a bunch of dwarven stuff. Truth, grab his scarf. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, hold. There's a bunch of different armor, different shields, battle axes, morning stars, warhammers, javelins. A lot of them look rusty, from what you can tell. I mean, I'm fine with just moving on. Yeah, I'm in agreement. Truth? Oh, bugbears. Do you need to kill the bugbears? Kinda. Why? There's Xanathar. And they killed Odin. <laughs> Did your imaginary friend right, tell you go. you had to do this? <laughs> it's not right, guess imaginary. We're, I guess we're going on right now. Yeah, okay. right, whatever. Arm. Uh, I just cast totally past without a trace. And just okay. Off we go. Ra- Ra- All right. That ain't gonna help me. I have disadvantage. Well, uh, yeah, I'm trying to uh, stealth Plus here. ten helps everybody. Yay. Try to stealth up. So give me stealth checks with the plus ten. Okay. Oh wait, I have disadvantage. So let me roll another one. I have advantage. Oh. <laughs> the, the just results just click 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 on. I got twenty five. Hey, yeah. seventeen. Hey. Twenty two. I got, I think, a thirty. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, go uh, ahead and get me initiatives. You guys will get a surprise oh, yeah. round. Yep. You can get up to. I here. got a thirty. Okay. Nice. But... Okay. Oh, I almost got a zero. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! I can't initiative. All right. Uh, Twenty-five to twenty. 20 to 15. 19. 18. 18. Jeez. All right. Well, what did you get, uh, Kalana? All right. Seven. Rock, paper, scissors, Greg. Oh, so you got more decks, but okay. Oh. Same thing. Oh. 
<laughs> I, was, I, wasn't, I didn't do anything on the second one. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'll go first this time. Okay. Okie dokie. I don't know what just happened. Are you going to move up, Brock? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so you yes. guys get about that line. If I can even... Why is it not? Oh, I um, think we're in... Oh, yeah, I've hit so, turn-based yeah. mode. Doop. Ah. Oh, it's funny. I can still move myself. I just can't drag myself. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's been a bug for a long time. Uh oh. Um, all right. Uh, so the first person up is Truth. Wow. <laughs> and attack. <laughs> oh, reach. Did you... Okay, I was like, what? Uh, 18. Hit. Uh, 11. Alright. And, um... Yep. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Uh, so, uh, yeah, 25. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 14. Alright, still up. Damn. Alright, well, that was my two. Not gonna, not gonna boop him. Oh. Bless you. No. <laughs> nope, didn't. Guess. I didn't do it. All right, I gotta move up one though. Uh, so I'm gonna move up one, ow. and then and then I'll boop him. Boop. Oh. oh. No. Twelve. Nope. Oh, okay. Dang. All right. Well. All right. Hi. <laughs> Say a quick prayer. And summon Tashi. Uh, What's Tashi's radius? Ten feet. That's why I was like, oh, when Truth moved up, I was like, ah, oh, I had a perfect spot for her. I think right here nope. is ten foot radius. Yep, pretty certain it is. I mean, it's two tiles, so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, is it a save on their part? Yes. DC 15 dex. Just. Half or none? I believe just for none. Alright, only one yep. of them seems to have gotten hit. Oh, uh, well, it was a big old... Ten fire, apparently, according to the yep. history. Yeah, I already, I already did that. All right, that it? Um, yes, so. Yeah, I believe so. All right. Brock. Okay. <laughs> playing Bop It in the fucking chat. <laughs> With excessive force. <laughs> what? Switch oh. Dust him. Luna. It's D&D bop it. <laughs> gonna punch it in the back of the head. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Double that this. 13. All right. Still up. And do it again. Uh, 13 to hit. Miss. That's it. All right, Kalana. All right. Get old surprise round. Yeah. We'll go for bugbear number three first. Oh, do I get advantage or? Yeah, uh, yes you do. Oh. Probably won't matter, but. Could crit. <laughs> um. So twenty six. That's a hit. And nine. Falls over D. Alright, bugbear number one. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Twelve Ooh. piercing. And it also falls over D. Alright, and then the last one. Which you have advantage on. Oh, right. Oh, no, don't need it! <laughs> 
So double the dice, which includes your extra dice. Which <laughs> Happy murder fun time. Aww. Oh my god! <laughs> 18 piercing. Near minimum. Wow! <laughs> Alright. Truth. So sad. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use advantage. I'm gonna use my advantage because we're gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it anyway. Very shortly. Wait, oh, your inspiration? Yeah. Yeah! Hey! I was gonna say, actually, you wouldn't have, but okay. Yeah, that, that one holds. Oh, uh, yeah. it's too tw late. 21. 21. Too Dustin. Late. Thank you for all the gift subs. Hey! Oh, there's something going on in chat? Thank you. Yeah. Hey! And that wow, 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 wow. You guys just fucking came in and annihilated me. What's the shield? Oh my god. <laughs> Um, <laughs> hmm. That is indeed a happy development. It is. <laughs> I can't do the eyebrows thing, so. <laughs> I can only just do one. I can do like the sexy librarian look. That's <laughs> the best I got. <laughs> oh, yes. I too could do the sexy librarian. Hell yeah. We have the hair <laughs> and the glasses. No, that's, for it. that is the lawyer. Or. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, so the away. shield oh. appears to just be a rusted shield with the designs of a goblin, like goblin make on it. Oh. Hey, bits. Oh, bits. Hey. Choo choo. Mm, delicious yeah. bits. Is there anything of note in this room? <laughs> Otherwise? Uh, Are there any um, arrows? Nope, no arrows. A bunch oh. of rusted armor. Very right. old. The sharpening wheel seems like it would still work, but I mean, it doesn't. It's not really going to confer any bonuses. Now that we've murderized everyone in this room, let's go check the other one. Hold up. Hmm. Are you going to walk around with Tashi? No, I just remembered it. Nadia made a comment about having rings. She does. Oh yeah, yeah. Her, and, and we her did not search her body, body for still loot. Back there. You did not. I got her head. Oh, all we right. uh, we totally did not, and she claimed she was immune to fire because. I'm just gonna go grab her hand and hold it up. This one. <laughs> uh, you so do, you do indeed see three different rings on her fingers. Um, two oh. of them are cracked now. Uh, one of them is still whole and slightly glowing. It is glowing a slight green. Anybody have any mems or anything like that? Mm, no. Stuff. Isn't that your thing? Uh, I don't know if I can fix magical things. Well, what's that one do? The good one. I would need time to identify it. I was going to say, it takes ten minutes. All right, but do we want to check yeah. that other room first? Yeah, that was ours. I can, I, can, I can grab it and bring it with us and do it once yeah. we get in there. Yeah, as long as it's not, like, cursed or something. Well, I don't think there's going to be a lot of room in that room, given <laughs> that it's like... I mean, you guys don't know that. Uh, I know I haven't revealed this yet, but surprise, Ragnar has ridiculous spatial awareness, <laughs> along with ridiculous perception. Also, Tashi's riding on his shoulder. Okay. Oh. Uh, let me see. I'm peeking around the corner here. Yep, I'm looking for the description. Peeking? That's not like you. Oh, you just like run in. All right. So, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, it's a gate, isn't it? <laughs> um, let's, let's, uh, see if there's a description of this. This is a uh, seems to be an archway. Um, and it seems to have carved into the keystone on this archway is an image of one of those uh, bugs that you guys uh, fought a while back that was eating on the helmet. Mm. Oh, like the rust thing. Okay. This is rust one of those magical here. portal things that we're not going to be able to get through, isn't it? I mean, I assume you are correct. Well, at this point, uh, what did we do with the... Truth, where are you going? I'm going to get some rusty metal. Did we put Nadia's head inside of a box? Oh, okay. okay. All right. All right. I'm, I'm I got an eye on him. Okay. I, I thought we had a conversation about how we were doing that. 
Doing what? Putting Nadia's head in a box. Well, we have the one here. dude, Sean. We, yeah, I was going to say, well, Nadia's head and we, his head just yes. both in the box. The, yeah. okay. Oh, right, that was his head. So, <laughs> But if I open this, is it going to confetti me? It's a visual effect. It's not actually confetti. As you open it, it <laughs> <laughs> the confetti just phases through you. Put the other head in. We did a murder. <laughs> hey, just, just for the screen, just... Are you going to do it? Um, I pick up a rusty weapon from the rack. All right. I'm going to walk back. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> we just want to make sure nothing hmm? bites you. Oh, That's hey. cool. While you guys are experimenting with this, I think I'm going to take the time to identify that glass rod in the ring. It'll take you about 10 minutes. Actually, no, two, two things. It'll take you 20 minutes. Under the ring first. I imagine they're going to poke around the gate for a minute. I just lob the piece of rusty metal into the archway. Okay, in, in, into the archway. It clatters yep. against the back wall. Nothing happens. Hmm. Oh, I thought that. I could have sworn that wasn't going to work. <laughs> I got nothing. Leaves. <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, I go up and I grab the rusty weapon and come back and I'm like maybe if we and I jab it at the stone. Touch it. You, you, to so the stone? You, you, uh, where are you where are you jabbing it? Just. At, like, the side. Okay, so the arch itself. Yeah. As soon as the metal touches the arch, the entire thing disintegrates in your hands. And oh. the entire archway oh. lights up. Oh. With a, with okay. a uh, portal. <laughs> Alright. I get my rope out. Tie it around my waist. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Who wants to hold the other end? Did Just wanna... in case. Did we send Tashi through it one time? Tashi can't gonna... go through it. Why, why not? Tashi couldn't go through it last time. No, I thought it, I thought she did. None of us that. could go through it last time. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm probably gonna get through. But I mean, just in case, rope. Yeah, let Tashi. Are you cool with going first? Oh, fire noise. Wow. Cool. <laughs> yeah, just just let Tashi run through real quick. All right. Tashi goes to run through and cannot. I was going to say, I picked Tashi up. Yeet. <laughs> oh. Well, didn't expect that. You're right, love. All right. Cool. All right. Now I will grab the other end of the rope. I'll try. All right. Um, as you go to walk on through, you can. I almost feel yourself being tugged through the portal and you feel another force similar to last time pushing you back, holding you back. Just, I'm sorry. You're not by the way, yet. By the way, it was oh, nice knowing you. I don't you. Ready yet. Are you yet. ready yet. Nothing? What's his last time? It was the nice lady again. She sounds sweet. Tom. Yeah, well, you're not ready for us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ain't true. Mm -hmm. She can play this. But she was really I... nice about it, so I think she's concerned, I guess. I don't know what she well, it just as a marker. Somebody should throw a uh ball bearing through there. <laughs> <laughs> On a <it>, chief. <laughs> ball bearing's gone. <laughs> The, the ball bearing strikes again. All right. The ball bearing is worthy. The rest of us are not. Level 20 ball bearing. I need to remember where these ball bearings end up. <laughs> <laughs> ball bearing notebook. <laughs> it's like the, the keys in the Thor movie. I too have a notebook, but never mind. Does well, a ritual really require you to sit still or just to concentrate? Uh, sit still. Oh. Yeah, you Was have that to, like, time? you, like, set up, like, a ritual circle. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we chill out next to Brock until he's done. Hey, do we just want to, like, take a, you know, an hour or so and, uh, and chill out? Just not leave uh... Yeah. Well, just, uh, you should, know, just... We could do that back at, we could do that back at Rosero's place? In that just room? Just hang... There's an, okay, so, I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer. But there is no reason to believe that Rosero, or whatever the name is, is not going to immediately attempt to kill us. Oh, he seemed nice. 
I really want to know what this ring does. And the wand. So, if you took a short rest, you could do both. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, so I, I, uh, I think we should chill out because that, as somebody pointed out to me recently, my wild shape recharges on a short rest. <laughs> I'm not to a day to a short rest, so I've been avoiding using it this entire time because I thought it was to a day, um, and I would I very much like to have those back. All right, all right. I kind of want to see what's over there. No, oh, we'll, right we'll be back. I think that's the gates downstairs. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I mean, go ahead. It's the guardian to the next floor, right? Oh, that's a good point. I'm gonna hang out with Brock. Okay. Alright, are you guys taking a short rest or are you explore, continuing the story of the dungeon while the others take a short rest? You know what? Uh, I thought that was just going to be like a thing or something, so let's just take a, <laughs> go back to a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> Room closet? Mm -hmm. Nope. Alright, well, well. Now remember, you guys do have a map. Yeah. No, we do. Uh, oh, yeah. Map. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. I have a map. Um, I had forgotten about that. <laughs> um, so, the ring. Uh, I do not have it on D&D Beyond. I will have to make it for oh. you. Uh, it does require attunement. Um, it negates 20 points of poison damage. And then is expended. And cracks. It does not recharge. Oof. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do that. Uh, as for the wand, it is not magic. I just kind of once it's the wand just has a regular sort of look at it, once the wand is done, just eh. <laughs> it's regular it's old grass. But I mean wand. <laughs> I am it's using shadows a little long for that. <laughs> I assume it's got shadows on the deck. <laughs> All right. So, who gets the poison ring? You want to know? For some, yeah. I'm just assuming I just sort of pick it up after up. Brock. Is... Yeah. Well, then Truth should probably have it. I think he's the only one with any attunements left. Is he? Yes, because as characters, we definitely understand what attunement slots are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Truth, I believe you have the least amount of magical items bound to your soul. <laughs> uh, if you don't have a slot, I get one like every so many levels, I think. Being artificer. Because you just have what? The crown and a ring? No, I mean, I've got three. No, I no. have a ring. Yeah. I don't think the scythe counts. Nope, it does not. It does not. So I have the ring of spell storing, but I don't think that's an attuned item. It is not. What about the? Well, you have the circlet thing, right? I oh no, wait. The the ring of spell storing does require attunement, so I do have one attuned thing. Um, I the circlet I never reattuned it. Oh, okay. So you just have it. I just have I mean, it. If you've got free slots, you can go ahead and have it. I don't need it anymore. All right. So what am I getting? Uh, it is a ring of poison protection. It is not in D and D Beyond. Okay. <laughs> uh, it, it will negate 20 points of poison damage, requires attunement, but then it's cracked and does not recharge. Okay. 20 in total or 20 at one time? 20 in total. Oh. Okay. You, you can kind of assume that the other two rings she had were probably similar in chance. Every time she pet the little Tashi, she was just draining her magic ring. <laughs> I was about to say, you're telling me that she I was would have burning her magic, magic ring on that. <laughs> she likes cats. So we're taking a short rest, eh? Maybe yep, short more. rest. So spin any hit dice if you want. Yes. Um, Get any other short rest thingies back. Where is Tashi's mini? I deleted her because uh, it's be taking an hour. Okay. You're a monster. It's still showing up for some reason. Like, not the mini, but the the figure in my uh, character wheel. Huh. Try this. Oh, 
Oh, no. I can't help you. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's I have a periodical wound cool. closure. <laughs> so I actually gained eight as opposed to four. Alright. Is everyone done with their short rest stuff? Yep. Ooh. Uh, one second. Yarp. I think I'm the only one actually tracking health on my mini. Yeah, I noticed that earlier when I right clicked you by accident. I was like, ooh! I should do that. <laughs> I try to keep it on D&D Beyond so that they can... So yeah, I've got it on... Oh, because it updates yeah. on there, doesn't it? Yeah, it updates on the... It's <laughs> supposed to update on the stream. I don't know how often it actually does. Might be a little behind. But I'm at full health again. Yay! I don't even see health on What you doing oh. right with? I am, uh... Spending some hit dice, okay. assuming I still have hit dice left. I'm trying to find the screen that shows me where my hit dice are. You click short, it's rest. short rest. Oh, God. Mm. We love you. Right there. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay, Mark. All right. Boop. We all have those days. All right. We can continue. All right. Okay. All right, so where are you headed? To deliver the goods? Sure. Uh, once again, as you start to enter the room with the guardian, it... Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is stupid. Okay. <laughs> Do we teleport or? Yeah, you guys can teleport. Okay. Can you ma- west? Can you magic bubble where we're going? Because this big map. <laughs> magic bubble. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's appropriate, right? <laughs> I thought it worked. <laughs> Uh, I like it. I dig it. it. it Magic bubble. Magic bubble. Under (laughs) the mountain. (laughs) That doesn't sound quite right. I don't remember the rest of the words, but then it goes, Magic bubble. (laughs) I will have the box in my arms ready. All right, so you can see the door has been remade. Their carpenters work fast. I'm gonna knock. <laughs> As you knock, <laughs> it does open. Does anyone feel kind of like an asshole thinking maybe we could have done that the first time? <laughs> Should we just start knocking on doors from now on? <laughs> it depends on whether or not we want the element of surprise. Good. Back within a day, I see. I Thanks hope so. you have good news. We are efficient. I we have something for you. I give him a box. <laughs> he kind of takes What's the in the box? Hmm. Gingerly puts it on the table so it doesn't knock over any stones. Uh, do you have a uh, key? Oh, oh yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. You. That was his idea. Yeah, we we don't know why that had to happen, but it did. Congratulations, you're the owner of two new heads. (laughs) Congratulations, it's a corpse. (laughs) It's two corpses. (laughs) It's bits of two corpses. Ah, Dark humor. He walks over to his ch- to the chair and reaches underneath it and slides out a secret compartment and takes out what appears to be a uh, stone key, uh, which I was seeing if there was a description of the stone key beyond the words stone key. So it's like a key. This dude was really trusting to just open a box face first that we gave him. Made a stone. <laughs> So he trusts us. So 
it, it could have like straight up trust him. Right? It could have like straight up Egyptian acid sprayed his face, like. Just, just... <laughs> Uh, well, that's true. Uh, there it is. He's so All right. He like so, ancient Egypt traps. The stone key is about 12 inches long. <laughs> very oh. big. Oh, what? Yes. The key to the city. Very, Holy very shit. large. <laughs> that's a big boy. Um, and he kind of hefts it over and brings it to you and holds it up. Take it. It's about 10 pounds. Mm -mm. And bears oh, inscriptions yeah. in what appears to be Dwarvish. Ooh. Uh, who speaks Dwarvish? Brock does. Brock. Yeah. You wanna... it, it says, meet me on the lost level. Find my twin in Slither Swamp. Is, is that a, a name of a place on a lower level, I assume? I ask him. As far as we can assume, I have not been very far, but I do know that level six is referred to as the lost level, and level eight is referred to as the slither swamp, but I have not, I myself have not explored either of them. <laughs> and for your swift duties, I can also offer this. And he reaches into his robes and pulls out a scroll. Uh, with a wax seal on it. What's that? Should you run into any uh, dark elves on the next level, simply give them this, and you will be allowed passage. Oh, it's a favor. But make sure the seal is unbroken. Yeah, all right. Okay. Do you know them? Perhaps. Can I take you? <laughs> what? Don't cut yourself on all that edge, man. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what? 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 I feel like I missed something. I did too. What happened? I heard a car. That... Oh. oh. There's a, a loud car outside. <laughs> mm. I don't hear that. In a residential neighborhood. <laughs> Damn kids these days. Darn skateboarders. All right, so. And with that, I believe our contract is at an end. Thank you for your services. I wish you the best of luck exploring the rest of the world. Uh. Um. Before we go, do you have maybe any advice on Skullport when we get down there? That's a big destination for us. Uh, the the, uh, the letter I gave you should help. In the one we're not allowed to open? I was like, this one? <laughs> <laughs> that's why I have the letter. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Beware that Skullport is a cesspool of scum and villainy. But... Yeah, is it a oh, hive? Yeah. Such right. that none of others ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> is Neil giving me an angry face? And <laughs> he's judging you. <laughs> I'm a sub People with hearts <laughs> like yours should be careful. Do not make any rash decisions you might regret. So trust no one. Exactly. All right. Well, let's get on with it. Sorry, I was not speaking up nor near my mic. Hopefully, I'm better I still... now. Just trying to be all dark and mysterious. Yeah. Oh. All right, here he giving uh... us the big spook. <laughs> guess we're heading back. I guess so. Can we teleport? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, you back may. to that. Hallway I'm just waiting for the time. Oh, wait. Why did, did somebody else? What? Okay, I teleported back to the bone wall for some reason. <laughs> like, I did not, I didn't touch anything. I clicked my guy and then suddenly bone wall. But uh, okay. Once again, as you guys enter the room, the guardian stares at you. Wand. And once again, it goes back to ignoring you. Wow. I'm glad we were able to keep that wand. 
And that what's his bug didn't ask it back. What's his bug? What's his bug? Preserve. I'm not even gonna attempt it. <laughs> it's just elvish. Uh, you do notice that this there is uh, what appears to be a lot of light coming from uh, the over this direction, over to the west. Oh, it's only elvish, the most ancient and complicated language to ever exist. A very long lighted hallway. Um, yeah. And what well, you the oh. minis you see down there are not representative. Okay. Uh, oh, thank God. <laughs> instead, what you see are very, two very large ballista. Oh. Huh? <laughs> like. Is anybody manning them? <laughs> it does not appear so. Okay. So big arrows. Yep. I'm gonna and they seem to be second. guarding a door. Well, what's yeah. that one first? Yeah, let's let's not walk towards the big scary siege of weapons. <laughs> we can do that afterwards. Maybe. What's down there? Uh, Darkness. Parallel hallway. Shall I venture forth? Oh. Keep. Oh, there you are. <laughs> when you went backwards, you vanished. I was like, whoa, what? Yeah, I went into the wall, my bad. <laughs> Is that a reference, Yuri? Maybe. Keyboards. <laughs> I miss. We're all missing stuff. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> all right, I'm going. I'm sneaking. Keyblade. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I was like, it was Kingdom Hearts shit. Oh. All right. Yes, I believe exactly. you. Exactly. Kalana does not. And we had different childhoods. I you. <laughs> when you said darkness, my first thought was a Chappelle show skit. Oh. <laughs> That's why I was like. Uh. <laughs> Truth is just kind of staring at the ballistas for like a minute. Okay, they just seem to be ballista at the end of the, at the end of the other room. I just I need to get a sticky note. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. <laughs> just a sticky note and write on it, don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> and just hold it up whenever Truth is thinking about doing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uriah? Yeah? Did you mean to put the stairs like that? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. What? what? Um, Y'all know nothing. Yeah, Kalana's just exploring. She hasn't come back to say anything. Uh, also, <laughs> hold on, there is a description for this room, I believe. Oh, okay. That oh. you are in. Uh, um, in this room... Uh, the walls climb about 15 feet and then angle inward to create a peaked ceiling. Uh, the sloped upper walls have red glowing crystals set into them, which fill the hall with a dim light. The lower walls seem to be carved with, uh, with depictions of dwarves <laughs> pushing minecarts towards the west, but have unfortunately been defaced and replaced with stony tentacles in some instances. Um, at the end of the hall, you can see a giant set of stone double doors, uh, which seem to have dwarves carved into them. You guys have not heard from Kalana for a little while. Guys, should we be concerned? I mean, she I has that horn of alarm. She yeah, I didn't hear anything. Uh, let me check the range on that. I'm sorry, say that again? So let me check the range on that thing real quick. Um, there's a range? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, Kalana, walking into uh -huh. this room, you uh, see a emergency small, meeting. what appears to be a small uh -oh. mechanical figure. Um, <laughs> let's see, specifically, it looks to be a cube with arms and legs and small mechanical wings. And it kind of just seems to be skipping around the perimeter of this room. Oh my god, it's so cute. Uh, Hello! Winter. Um, hold on, I'm not done with the description oh, okay. yet. Okay, <laughs> my bad. Um, <laughs> you excited. are free to do that in a minute, but I am not done okay. with the description of the room. <laughs> um, uh, you also see um, in the center of this room is what appears to be a giant kind of uh, 10 foot radius circle of stone um, built into the floor. 
and the giant pillars you see there are not giant pillars. Instead, uh, well, actually, they are. They are four pillars of white marble, each shaped in the likeness of a female elf uh, with flowering robes and a, f and a flowering branch clutched to their chests. And they all appear to be facing this circle in the middle. Oh, 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 it's the thing. It's the thing. It's the riddle. Wait, what? It's um, You're not here. <laughs> the walls are also carved uh, with Sorry. bar leaves of unicorns and bare branched trees. And this guy is just kind of circling the room. Hello. Um, as you say hello, it just kind of. Hi. Am I? Oh, is it dark in here? It's dark in here. <laughs> Oh, you are invisible. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, it has true sight. Uh, so oh. it, it, it just sees you. Just. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my Hi. god, something in this dungeon that doesn't want to kill us. <laughs> you, the way you oh, reacted sorry. to that the first time, Uriah, I pictured the SpongeBob. <laughs> 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 Can you talk? Alastron. Alistron. Who is oh. Alistron? No, oh, no, I'm not there. Oh, okay. To answer your question, Mark, it's 600 foot range. Okay, so. Oh, so you're fine. That's yeah, she should be okay. Um, oh down oh this God. way, yeah, a long hallway <laughs> and what appears to be various rooms offshooting from it. I'm just gonna peek at the first one. Yeah. All right, oh. in here you see four stone figures of what appear to be tiny frog-like creatures. Um, I know I'm not there, but I feel like I should point out... How, like, mobile do they look? Are they all like, oh, I carved a stone? It, or as, like, look... oh, crap, it's a Medusa? They, they, they're just... They're completely lifelike, but statues. Okay. Um, and here is a boar of similar, very, very much perfectly detailed boar made of stone. Do they look like they could be moved? Uh, they look heavy, but yes. Okay. Uh, I'm trying, I got a list. She's on. got her little notebook out. Oh, that's a big one. A very large snake <laughs> made of stone. <laughs> okay. What else we got? Three figures, all familiar. Um, the, I think that's the, uh, I know they're called Grix, but I was trying to remember their actual description. Ah, uh, yes, the, the snakes with, like, the tentacles and the beaks. Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. Um, so a brain thing. No. No, no, they're not brain things, they're worm things. Yep. In here, oh. what appears to be a, a medium humanoid, uh, very bird-like beak. Um, oh, wait, you fought them. Kinku. Yeah. Yes, you, you fought them. Kinku. I have fought them. Yes. See, and here appears to be a Kinku. Made of stone. Okay, I was like, you just moved him. Oh, I'm like, sorry. wait, I thought you said he was made of stone. <laughs> and here, two, el two uh, figures um, of kind of elven feature. Um, what appear to be leather armor and scimitars at their sides made of stone. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a lot of the... Okay, yeah. okay, hold on. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> there's a lot of these. Okay. Check on one, one more thing. Just one more. I kind of want to... In here, you see... You can peek around the corner and see two giant hulking figures. Uh... <laughs> They seem to have feathers and be almost uh, giant and bear shaped. And they have this giant beak with oh, oh, bear. sharp teeth. Out, yep. Out mm, hey, thanks, Mookery. <laughs> Appreciate it. Nice. Hey, sweet. So that's a nope. Cure Light on Ragnar? Cure Rag Light? Ragnar <laughs> Hill 4. Are we playing 3.5? Yeah. So you said Cure our health wins. is on the screen. Where is on there? 
it should be a fly out thing. Oh, like when you got it. Okay. Yeah. Like you, you have to go and interact with it. Okay, I'm gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking book it. As you left, the, the mechanical figure was just happily still skipping around the room. Wait, can I take him with me? Uh, you can try. What, what would you do to try? i get down in front of him and be like, Hey, I want to come back, but I need to get my friends. Do you want to come with me? One of my friends will love you. Okay. All right. He said no. I'll be nice. Okay. 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 Now I haul ass. <laughs> <laughs> I slow down because I know they're not going to see me coming. <laughs> just slamming you the guys just line. hear. <laughs> no, they can't hear me. My footsteps. Are I can't. Oh, that's right. Oh. That's right. You can't I hear forgot. me at all. Fireball. I forgot <laughs> your footsteps make no sounds. <laughs> Okay. Am I a rogue or a ranger? <laughs> the world will never know. I don't know. My perception is so high. Do I see the puffs of her footsteps in the dust of the floor? Nope. Oh. I get over. I just... So yeah, <gasps> I really think... Oh, Jesus! Or, sorry. Oh, uh, setting appropriate deity. <laughs> mm -hmm. Saloon's my favorite. <sighs> Hi, I'm back. Did why are you? What did you? Is there something chasing you? Should no. we be getting ready? No. What's going on? No, I'm just excited. No, there's okay. Oh. So you know, the the thing when we found oh god, house old buddy the the fighter and we fought the thing and it it, it was it killed him and the. Who touched the wall and something? And Halister gave us the riddle poem thing, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, those were definitely words. Um, so I'm with you on that. But the, the thing is, uh, you have to place them in a order. Like they have to, <laughs> you have to order words. Four elves. You can't just. You can't just I feel like I just got ice bucket challenged by just words. Okay. 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 I take out my list. Four elves face in to face four beasts. When four are slain, you'll have a feast. One will chew on iron beams. One is not as he seems. One has one but sees much more. One can latch onto your forehead. Defeat all four and sate thy thirst, and then your hunger shall be made first. I found a room at the end. It's a long hallway. At the end, and there's this cute little bot, and he's really nice, and I think you're going to like him, Brock. And so he's skipping, and he's skipping around the circle, and it's this four big beautiful elves and this like thing in the middle and then there's this big hallway full of statues and i think maybe maybe if we pick the right statues and and we put them in the middle of of the elf statues and we pick the right four then we get the thing whatever the i'm excited all right all those words <laughs> in the right order and i still don't know what's going on so i'm just gonna follow the rest of you because i'm done pretending i'm smart for the day <laughs> so what's down here do you think if all that's that way i don't know oh stairs oh there's also stairs i also found the stairs down yeah okay. you found Lead what? With that <laughs> <laughs> so, what I got... what's in the <laughs> ballista room that was, you know i don't care about the ballista room who cares about the ballista room also there is another one there's a hallway go down the hallway don't go open the door to the other room in the chamber with the elves that one has owl do i know what owl bears are yes you would know what okay. owl bears are they're owl, owl bears. In there. <laughs> There's two very large owl bears in there. You guys have definitely like heard about you, owl bears. I feel like even if you don't know what an owl bear is, you could look at one and be like, "Some sort of an owl bear, bear owl thing." Owl thing. Like, why is it? Why is it a bear that's also an owl? That's uh, uh, fine. Yes. Yeah, so stairs and and special room with the puzzle riddle. I think it's it. So yeah. question. Huh? No, I can see how it's. Does anybody I want my... to check out this room first, or do we want to skip it? Because this Which sounds room? like a long trek to where we're going to where you were just at. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, I, you're talking about the ballista room, right? Yes. Okay. Just make I sure. am 
I don't know if the blister room is a good idea. My only worry is that this hallway's pressure plated because we've had that happen. No. The blister's going to hurt a lot more than a poison dart. Um, <laughs> However, um, I can fly. But what if it's a motion thing? Have we met motion detectors? We had the mirrors that if we walked past, they did things. So what if they yeah. just... I don't want to put anything past this dungeon. I've got really nice armor. <laughs> I know, but... So, I, there's, no. was, I, don't want there, you, I don't think it's ballista-proof armor. Was there anywhere to hide behind in the entire hallway? Nope. Yeah, that's yeah, a good so point. Uh, hard no. I, if, those, if those things are, like, trapped and they fire on us, they're just, they're just going to hit us. Good <laughs> armor against siege weaponry is sort of like wearing a helmet on a motorcycle. It just keeps your bits intact. But you can identify I, them after the fact. I, I just feel like this ballista hallway, it's just an adventure bait trap. Yeah. <laughs> I, just like, think, uh, I just feel like you're like, what's down that? Oh, past that door behind the ballistas. I gotta know. And you walk down, the ballistas just like splatter yeah. you against the walls. Yeah. The, the Mad Mage, Halifax, or whatever he's called, is just Alistair. like. I mean, how tall is the hall? Um, just no. like no one who Come can't be the tiny the, robot. It's a thirty foot high ceiling. Yeah, I mean, if they're already angled and there's no one to guide them, they should just shoot straight. Come meet the tiny um, robot. Yes, that's assuming that nothing is magical. We've certainly <laughs> not run into anything magical <laughs> since we've been down here. Come on. All right. Do I need to actually click this whole thing? <laughs> you guys. Can oh, hey, the stairs. I was going to teleport to the stairs. Oh, to the stairs? I'm just going to click forward an obnoxious number of times. All right, so we could like... just take the stairs down, or we could try this very obvious puzzle, possibly trap, <laughs> that... I mean, like, Hollister who... told us about the, the puzzle, so... Feel like we gotta try it. But he's also. I was about to say yeah, because he also. Uh, gave he is us good also advice insane. But he's not in there. I mean, for all we know, it could be like, "Hey, you solved the puzzle! Congratulations!" And then just stab us, you know? Congratulations! Just, no. Here's cancer. Yeah. What'll probably happen is we'll get a little effect. <laughs> <laughs> Brock, you have to at least see the robot. He talks. I feel right. like we gotta see the robot. All right, what's down this hall? Is there anything down this hall? Sorry, uh, the uh, last robot we met tried to kill us. A bunch of. Oh my god! Go ahead. Yeah. A bunch oh, yeah. of dwarven uh, frescoes on the walls, uh, bas reliefs showing uh, dwarves pushing carts. Most of them are cracked and defaced, and there are also stone tentacles protruding from some of them. Completely still, but like shaped tentacles. And then you know, a set of giant stone double doors on down here. I don't know why, but you said pushing Which, carts. Yeah. And I immediately thought like shopping carts, like they're returning their carts from Kroger. <laughs> my, my own carts. Um, and on the doors down here at the end, uh, ba -ba -ba, um, curved into the walls flanking the double doors, uh, stand out armored dwarves. Uh, with stony beards flo uh, flowing out of their great homes. What was behind this door? You don't know. I haven't gone there yet, but come in this one. This one. This one. Hey, friend. You guys see the the uh, cube flying around, and it. you see it notice you guys, and then continue walking around. <laughs> and then by the time it gets back to you, it then stops. Like we're in its way, or it's not. Oh. Excuse me. Um, Hello. They just. Uh. Ah. Uh, all right. What kind of? Does this design look familiar to me at all? Uh, not at all. So it's just like a box with arms and legs. Box with arms, legs, wings. It seems to have a bow on its side. 
Like a cube pid. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> so is it. Alright, Greg, Bob you're does. grounded. <laughs> so, does it have a face? It does. It has eyes and a mouth. Okay. Uh, I can't believe it took me this long to realize what this thing is. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I feel like an idiot. You know what it is? I mean, my character doesn't. Ragnar has no clue. Actually, does Ragnar have a clue? I, I, I nah. As a player, I have no idea what this thing uh, is. Make me an Arcana check, Ragnar. Would it be Arcana or Religion? I'm going to say Arcana. Sweet. I'm trading that one. Oh. <laughs> Eleven. Nope. You don't no have advantage. Yeah, uh, hmm. can I deduce its purpose, maybe, by its design? Does it look like it's meant to do anything in this room? Um, make me a intelligence check. Plus eight. Uh, oh, almost a 20. 16. Uh, it's, I mean, based upon its actions when you got in, and the fact that it's just kind of standing there in front of you seemingly doing nothing. It seems like it was meant to patrol and possibly protect this room. I... <laughs> protect from what? <laughs> True. Uh, yeah. As you come into this room and oh boy. Uh, actually oh, kind of turn and see this figure, uh, your scythe summons itself into your hands. And you feel this immense hatred pulse through you. And you take a step forward. True. Oh. Oh. And you attack. Okay. Uh, the box? The nope. box? Yes. What, which, what, where's the box? Uh, on the other side of Brock. It's a little yeah. method figure. All right. Yeah. Well, I've got reach. Yep. So, um, yeah. You can feel you you fight against it, but the scythe almost has a will of its own in your hands as you step forward and lash out. The twenty. That would be a hit. Hey! Whoa! Hey! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> hey! Ho! Whoa! Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. All right. Uh, and you get your second attack. As he slashes into this robot, you can see the look on Truth's face, I imagine, in kind of abject horror at what is going on. Very confused. More confused, yeah. yeah. Uh, and that, that's a 23. That is a hit. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Why am I rolling well here? Uh, another 16 damage. And it disintegrates. Uh, okay. Guess I won't study that. Uh, hey, oh, mate. Um, am I, quick am question. I in and as, yeah? as soon as it is gone, as soon as it turns to dust, the feeling leaves you. I throw down the scythe. Are you okay? You want to explain what that uh, was all about? I wish I could tell you. <sighs> what happened? Scythe kind of had a mind of its own there. I really didn't like that thing. I, I'm i not sure what just happened. All right. Well, we should probably get rid of this. And I'm going to, despite my better judgment as a player, walk over and pick up his scythe. All right. Can you? Um, yeah. Yeah, he can pick up the scythe. Um, oh. You pick it up and... Immediately, imagery comes to your mind. Flashes of storms, the infinite, and a crooked smile. But nothing bad happens to you. <laughs> yeah, aside from the nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Splash of a nightmare. I just yell aside. You don't scare me. I've already got my own eldritch horror. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so what, what does it what doesn't scare you? What? Oh, sorry, it made me see things. 
Did you say you have your own Eldritch Horror? No, no need to be concerned about that. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, a druid no. posing as a war or a warlock posing as a druid. <laughs> this whole time. <sighs> no, Ragnar. Yes, that's yeah, that's a complete. Why? What interesting hey. architecture. <laughs> no, don't you change the subject. Hey, Brock, <laughs> can you speak Elvish? Yes. All Wait. right. You see, uh, yes. you see in carved in, in very sloppy handwriting, uh, but carved nonetheless in Elvish, are the words elf magic with an exclamation point. What? <laughs> what? Is this, is yep. this D&D era shit posting? What the hell? <laughs> Ka- Kalana, does this make sense to you? What? The point at it. Standing here holding the scythe, just completely I, I, forgotten what I was give doing. That back to truth. That's his. That, that's not. We don't. I'm not sure if I want to. Hey. Can you make it poof? Yes. Do you attempt to? Maybe that'll help. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna attempt to de summon it. And it vanishes from Ragnar's grasp. Oh, that's a weird feeling. Ooh. Oh. I, oh, I do <laughs> not like that. I do not like that at all. I was Ooh. given inspiration. No. Oh. No. Oh. No. That's a bad no. chat. No. I'm gonna mark no. that down since we don't have a way to track that yet. Uh. Which is actually yeah, kind of yeah. surprising. <laughs> yeah, we've no. been lazy about. I mean, we've got all this other stuff. Do the other statues say that stuff? Nope, only that one. What is it? And it does it look like someone shittily scratched it in? Yeah. Oh. So yeah, it's shit posting. Okay. Well. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, D and D era shit posting. Does that mean it needs like an elf needs to cast magic? Okay. Nah, I think it's just though. some no offense. Elven bullshittery. Hey. Alright, now hold up, Bragnar. I know about the whole my the scythe and the whole thing going on there, and we've we've talked about that a little bit, but I what what did you say? You got your own elder tour. We're gonna talk about this. Yes. Yeah, no, I actually, like I talk. don't. I don't think we are. Oh, we are. I don't. We we, we don't. We are. You don't uh, get a choice. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. Just. I mean, you know, not all fire spirits are as nice as other fire spirits. And. I don't understand. And what so does that have to do with you? And, I mean, I've met a couple of them. Okay. Does Tashi have a really angry father figure? <laughs> mm. No comment? <laughs> <laughs> Ragnar. Just, it's okay. We're here. Like, it, it's okay. Whatever it is. I mean... There's just, there's some spooky stuff going on. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, um, what was that poem again? Um, something about some four, <laughs> four bits of stuff. I'm making a big spooky thing. <laughs> hey, what was the, um... <clears throat> hey, what's down here? Did you check down here, Kalana? Yeah, there's... <laughs> There's, yes. We need to find, I think we need to find the right statues and put them in the middle here, is my guess. What was the thing that my scythe uh, dispatched? Oh. Just now? You don't know. He said his name was Halatron. Halatron? Okay. I'm just going to write that down. Uh, (sighs) It was a walkie cube. An arcana check. Uh, with advantage, actually. Um, Who? Um, truth. Okie dokie. Ooh. Uh, uh, 19. <laughs> All right. Um, as you think on it, it suddenly comes unbidden into your head. Um, as though a voice was whispering it. Modron. Oh, okay. 
Oh, go. congratulations. Okay. True. <laughs> I don't like this room. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like anything about this room. Say Halatron. But elves. Halastron. Oh, Halastron. Yeah. From Halastron, Percy I ate. Got it. <laughs> Sorry, what? Are you okay? Uh, getting it, like, I guess, uh, up at him. <laughs> I'm just gonna, uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna, hmm, <clears> hmm. <throat> but... Okay. No, yeah, I, and I sit down. And I'm just like, you guys have fun with this room. I'm, uh, I think, I think it's best if I just sit this one out. What if we need your help moving the statues? Then maybe. I'm not, I'm not the strongest member of this group. I'm, I think you'll be fine on your own. <laughs> laughs and negative one. Just <laughs> laughs, laughs just negative kinda... two. I don't know. <laughs> Rock just kind of does the John Travolta <laughs> meme of like. <laughs> Did we just walk into a room of uncomfortable? Like, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh. Somebody just got food delivery. Is that <laughs> Sorry, there, it was some like, what? cat. He's got the cat because the cat came in. <laughs> like, it's okay, Rick. Just <laughs> I love you. It's hilarious. <laughs> still <laughs> you a good hubby. I, I missed the cat. I'll have to watch that later. <laughs> Katana has the cone of shame on, and she's very sad about oh, no. it. She wants snuggles and loving all the time. Anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah, so... I guess we'll go look at these statues now. Can we do a just what all we find sort of yeah. thing, since there are so many... So you find uh, what appears to be a kind of lizard person in one. Um, mm -hmm. In another, you find a figure kind of tall, uh, about as, a little taller than Truth. Uh, slender, what seems to be in robes. They have a kind of bulbous head and four tentacles coming down from their mouth. Long, slender fingers, only four. I know what that is. Uh, I've uh, seen one of those, haven't I? No, you have. Oh wait, yes, yes, you have. <laughs> you have seen one of those. I'm the only bitch you live. Um, the only survivor from back then. You see four of those rust bugs from before. Uh, you see a small figure, uh, kind of hunched over with a little bit of spines and one giant eyeball that you've also fought before. Um, you see five uh, kind of hulking lizard figures that uh, you've definitely fought before and they stank oh, um, you see what appears to be a orc decorated in a bunch of uh, what makes him look kind of like a chieftain and he has uh, various weapons at his side um, a very large badger um, six goats. <laughs> um, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, what appears to be a uh, medium figure, kind of. It's uh, it almost has a pointed humanoid face, but it has um kind of wolf-like legs almost and very it doesn't look fuzzy at all it looks like it's it, i mean it is made of rock in this case but it looks like it almost wouldn't change its features uh and its hands seem to be almost feet like um huh. and what appears to be a normal dude just like a <laughs> just like a thug a bandit type deal um and brock did you also get on this hallway I'm in the one with Kalana, yeah. I mean, the long like hallway. My... Yeah. Would you have also gone down and found all these Oh, things? yes. Yes. All right. You notice that there is a secret wall. Oh. Where at? Down the at very the end? very end. Oh, then yeah, I would. We. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoop. Papers. 
Papers, please. Hello. Uh, you notice what appears to be Halister Papers. made of stone. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust that. I throw a ball bearing at it. It tink, tink, tink. It, it indeed right. appears to be Halister made of stone. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Oh. Thinking. One will chew on iron beams. That's got to be the rust bug. That's the first one. Yeah. Do we need to move these statues or just represent them? I think we need to take one. Are they giant? Like, are they life size? They are life size. Uh. Let's take one. Aren't they big? No, I'm taking one. I mean, can you, though, is what I'm asking. Well, I'm it's trying. A, it's a statue <laughs> made of stone. It's a. Uh... I'm going to try. Quite heavy. I'm going to try. Can uh, I try? Sorry, no, no. Uh, which one? The rust monster? Uh, I'm distracted. Someone, someone hit that with the van hammer. Um... Oh. oh. Do I, can uh, I do that? That's, I think that's can only. I... How do you do that? Wait. I thought but... only a moderator could do that. Yes, but I yeah, so... I can't take the time to do it. Can right. No, what I'm saying is uh, Neil's the only one who can. Yes. Uh... I assume. So, <laughs> so I can roll, or... Uh, so what is your <laughs> Go strength? to spam jail. What? What is your what? strength score? Ten. Ten. Try as you might, you cannot move it. The Brock strongest help. of us all! Yeah, that's... I got the highest. Um, Brock, help. Uh, uh... I mean, okay. Yeah. My strength is horrible, but I will try. What is your With strength me. armor? With me. <laughs> My strength total is nine. Nine. All right. You guys can totally feel like it's slightly budging, but not quite. Can't move it. I mean, I might Ragnar! be able to, like, construct some sort of a pulley or something system. Huh? Huh? Come here mm -hmm. and help lift this. Yeah, I'm dumb. What? Okay, yeah, sure. Ragnar uh, looks up from where he had been, um, you know, studiously attempting to translate the elvish carved in yep it just says elf magic <clears throat> i can't read it anyway i was i'm just full of shit okay um uh, i think you guys technically are at one of these ones i don't know where we're at what do you guys need a you guys need a pulley system if you'd like, like to help i think like a i i pull out from a bag like a block and tackle oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, you guys uh, all, are all three of you trying to move one? Mm hmm. Um, yeah, I guess I will help these guys attempt to hoist. What is your strength score? <laughs> Nine. Okay, so that's 28. That is enough. Uh, <laughs> as it very slowly just. <laughs> I don't know, now I'm having flashbacks to me and my brother try to haul a frickin'. Uh, treadmill up the stairs. So as you guys get it to the middle circle and <sighs> take take your breather, you all suffer one point of exhaustion. Ugh. All right, well, that was some bullshit. <clears throat> okay. hmm. Don't know why you wanted to do that. Uh, Are you going to need to more, move more of these things? Maybe. Uh, Here. Well, we're going to do wait, them one wait. day at a time. Let's say so, elf magic and elvish. I don't care. Okay. You're just gonna stand there and say that? I don't know. Yeah. I'm. Okay. Nothing happens. Yeah. Uh... I don't know. Take a closer look at the statues. Are they pointing at anything? Or... All of them appear to be facing inward. Uh, they all, all four of them have like a very slight glow to them. Maybe they all four have to be here for it to happen. Oh, good, they're radioactive. Because <laughs> we need... Your, okay. your, your riddle says four things, right? And I say elf magic. Okay. As, Elfish. As you say elf magic while touching the statue, the magic... You can see the glow fade from the statue, and the middle of the room lights up a bright, vibrant light. 
And, as, and as the light starts to die down, you hear. Oh and no! And that's where we're gonna end the session. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, okay. They brought it to life. I was gonna say roll for initiative. More or less, but that is where we are going to go ahead and end the session today. It did say uh, once they're all slain. <laughs> it's a good thing we didn't put all four in there first. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yep, this seemed to oh, have boy. restored the thing to life. Let's go get the mad mage and kick his ass. No, I don't think that's <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a great go. idea. Certainly he doesn't know power word kill. How much <laughs> HP you she's got? Whole, she's whole purse on him. Whole person. Whole oh, purse. Yeah. I'm certain he doesn't have legendary <laughs> assistance either. Uh, could you have advantage against that? Um, I believe <laughs> next week we are not having a session. I believe two members yes. are busy, actually. If yep. not three. Uh, a lot of oh. people are busy. Um, but I believe we are all good the following Sunday. So the 25th? Are we all good yeah. for the 25th? Yes. Yep. Should um, be. Should be? Okay. Yep. Uh, let it's us know good. the minute you know if you're not, so that yep, we, yep. Can, we can announce it. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and send everybody on a raid. Raid. Um, raid the welcome in because they're streaming and they're cool people, and I just keep sending you back to them. Um, so thank you guys for showing up. Uh, it looks like we actually had a good chunk of viewers today, and I yeah, hope to see everybody um... in uh, two weeks. Um, if wow, I don't wow, stream wow. games in the meantime, which I probably won't because I am lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I keep meaning to. But we okay. all are. Yeah. So I'm I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, going to send everybody over to the Welcome Inn for some more Dungeons and Durgans. Durgans. Uh, so going to start that raid up, and uh, we'll be going to send everybody over in about five seconds or so. <sighs> Thank you, everybody, for showing up, and see you all in two weeks. Yeah. Hey!